The 36 paths, sequence, govern heaven and earth, and the creatures holding the sequence, have the power to move mountains, cut off rivers, block the sun at a glance, and dream for a thousand years. There are heroic wine immortals who master the wine sequence and walk freely, court lords who deeply understand the law sequence and formulate laws, mountain Taoist priests who master the Tao sequence, wild Gu masters who master the Gu sequence, and beauties who possess the emotion sequence. Upon waking up from a dream, the martial arts world for Qin Yuyan was no longer the same as the one in the game, Mysterious Jianghu, but a vivid representation of the real world before his eyes. In order to survive and escape the gaze of immortals, Chen Yuyan had to step into the martial arts world, facing cunning schemes, swords and shadows, and plotting against people's hearts. Keywords of the novel Strange Jianghu Sequence without pop-ups, Strange Jianghu Sequence TXT Complete Collection Download, Strange Jianghu Latest Chapter Reading of the Sequence Chapter 1 Sequential Jianghu You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Sequential Jianghu, that's all for tonight's live broadcast. Thank you all. We'll see each other tomorrow at the same time. Chen Yuyan took off her virtual helmet and pushed the wheelchair back, inhaling and vomiting slowly, still feeling unsatisfied. The wine sequence has finally reached the stage of qualitative transformation. As a seasoned game anchor, Chen Yuyan always believes that Strange Jianghu is the most outstanding and perfect game in the history of gaming. It takes sequence as its core, organically combining several elements of martial arts, extraordinary, adventure, eerie, and political strategy. In the world of martial arts, players control characters in different sequences to enhance their strength and explore the world. The path and sequence of martial arts are closely combined, with 30.6 sequences and countless martial arts skills. There are too many characteristics that can be combined, some of which may not work, leading to a dead end of losing control and death, there are also miracles that take a different path and pave the way. After washing up, Chen Yuyan went to bed. He slept soundly this night. Strange in the past, strange in the past. My grandson married his grandmother. Sitting on the pig and sheep kong, boiling in the six parents' pot. A woman eats her mother's flesh, while a son beats her father's skin and drum. Everyone came to congratulate him, I see it's really hard. The nursery rhyme is being sung by young children's voices, pouring into their ears like a blunt knife tearing through the brain marrow of Chen Yuyan, causing immense pain and unbearable suffering. In a daze, Chen Yuyan instinctively felt that his breathing was uncomfortable and tried to climb up, but his body couldn't lift its strength and couldn't move. Take a nap, why is it so painful? You won't get sick, will you? At this moment of thought, Chen Yuyan suddenly woke up. He opened his eyes and his gaze gradually shifted from blurred to clear, but what caught his eye was not the familiar ceiling, but a quaint wing room. The wing room is tidy and tidy, with a simple bed placed at the corner of the wall. On one end is a dark patterned tent, while on the other end there are only grey and dirt walls. The underground is paved with stone bricks, which are spotless, but very damp. It seems that after the last wash, they no longer want to dry. Behind is a desk, on which stands the Yenyu lamp wick with fireworks. At this point, the lamp oil has already bottomed out, and the fire is on the verge of danger. He himself was dressed in a blue robe with arrow sleeves, moonlight white silk pants, and only had a black leather short boot hanging on his right foot. His clothes were disheveled and full of wrinkles. It can be seen that this body has gone through intense struggle, even one shoe has been kicked off. At this moment, he was facing the desk, kneeling on both knees, with four or five circles of white silk wrapped around his neck, and his skin pressed blue and purple. White silk. Hanging oneself. No, this posture cannot be achieved solely by oneself, it was strangled to death. The things in front of me are so unfamiliar, and my own situation is full of strangeness. Chen Yuyan couldn't believe it, and it took him a while to recover. Have I traveled? 
this is the only possibility that Qin Yuyan can think of. Not only because of the decoration of the wing room and the clothes on the body, but also because of the memories gradually becoming clear in the mind. Li Qingsong, with a long character, is from Qingqing County, Pingnan Prefecture. He is a descendant of the Li family, a prominent family in Qingqing County. He knows everything about food, drink, and entertainment, and is particularly fond of gambling. Father Li Tai is the fourth younger brother of the contemporary Li family leader, who passed away a few years ago. My mother was originally a maid in the family, but she was forced to bow by Li Tai's drunken tyranny. She happened to be pregnant with Li Qingsong, but due to her weak health, she reluctantly gave birth to Li Qingsong and passed away. The fourth room is now managed by the eldest brother Li Qinghou. Among the eight brothers and five sisters, Li Qingsong ranks last. The Li family is relatively wealthy, but Li Qingsong is a commoner and his birth mother has no power behind her. In addition, she is cowardly and stingy, bullying the weak and afraid of the hard. She is a bad gambler and has never been liked by the Li family. This year is the first year of Jiming, year 132nd. In today's world, the nine heavenly virtue Yuan Su Xian should enlighten the Emperor Mingrui Zhu Guang, who reigned for over a hundred years. Southern Yunnan Province Pingnan Prefecture Emperor Mingrui Chen Yuyan's eyelids twitched wildly, whether he wanted to believe it or not, but these familiar words kept telling him. This is the world of mysterious Jianghu. Chen Yuyan's heart is full of longing for strange Jianghu, but the premise is that it is in the game. In the past few years since opening the server, the characters controlled by Chen Yuyan have died thousands of times in the game. He knew exactly how dangerous this seemingly peaceful world was. War disasters, water disasters, epidemics, and mountain bandits. The common people pawn their wives and sell their children, while the refugees cry out for hunger and cold. Some people, in order to promote their ranks, use yin and yang, eat human hearts and livers, devour ghosts and souls, detest victory spells and kill, and slaughter cities and build capital temples, all to the extreme. In the game, resurrection is possible, so Chen Yuyan naturally doesn't matter, and even admires the stunning settings. But now he is a living person. Only one life. Having family and friends on earth allows you to travel and play, find delicious food, enjoy a colorful online world, listen to music, watch TV shows, play games and now even when sleeping, one has to worry about whether someone will dig out their organs and take them for worship. Chen Yuyan felt weak all over and crouched weakly on the ground. After more than twenty years of happy and healthy life, he suddenly told him to come alone to this unpredictable world and face various threats as a mortal. After a while, Chen Yuyan had to reluctantly accept this cruel fact and force herself to adjust her psychological state. Heaven cannot command people. At first, due to a car accident and his legs being disabled, he wanted to give up his life, but in the end, he persisted. On the other hand, thinking about it, at least I can stand up again, right? The top priority is to understand the situation and one's current situation. Calm down what should I do? Suddenly, Chen Yuyan's voice disappeared, as if his throat was suddenly choked and unable to speak while speaking. He stared at the yellow paper left on the ground, on which a ghostly graffiti was outlined in crimson handwriting. Believing in a loving mother will transcend reincarnation and not fear death. Mother will work tirelessly to send you back to the world of Yang time and time again. She is a deity on earth, guiding us to break free from the shackles of death. Praise your loving mother, a great and kind mother. Kind mother, kind mother teachings. Subconsciously swallowing saliva, Chen Yuyan quickly and carefully recalled his original memories. It seems that because Chen Yuyan is an outsider occupying the magpie's nest, most of the memories belonging to Li Qingsong in his mind have been forgotten, except for the ones that left a deep impression, most of them cannot be remembered. I only remember last night when he was sleeping soundly, he was suddenly covered in his head, choked on his neck, and finally forcefully choked off. This yellow paper was torn off the person while struggling desperately, 
and he held it in his hand without being noticed. There are two things that can be confirmed now. One possibility is that the person who killed Li Qingsong is likely from the Li family, as he held the key to Li Qingsong's bedroom. The second reason is that there is an inexplicable connection between that person and the Compassionate Mother Church. The Compassionate Mother sect is the most powerful and populous martial arts sect in the underworld. This group of lunatics is different from other cults. They do not strip their skin and cramp, causing harm to people's lives. Since the birth of the ancient Qin dynasty's Mother of Mercy cult, they have only focused on one thing. Rebellion. Despite being inexplicably picked peaches every time they are on the verge of success. Chen Yuyan has no control over what the compassionate mother sect wants to do, nor does he want to. He only cares about whether he will have any worries about his life in the future. Firstly, we need to figure out the cause of Li Qingsong's death, who it was, and why he was strangled. Now that Chen Yuyan has taken over Li Qingsong's body, he has come back to life. If the person who killed Li Qingsong found out that Li Qingsong was not dead yet, what would he do? Will he spare his life? Or would you spare no effort to kill him? Chen Yuyan dared not gamble. He was afraid of death and would never sit idly by like this, entrusting his own life to the choices of others. The fear of insecurity drove him to seek strength to protect himself. Chen Yuyan stood up. In this world of martial arts, if you want to have power, you absolutely cannot bypass the sequence. Knife Sequence Initial Contamination Feature, Knife Bone Transformation Increases the damage and perception speed of sword martial arts, the physical strength has significantly increased. Characteristic Anger Personality is affected and becomes violent and impulsive. After being seriously injured, it temporarily loses its rationality and indiscriminately attacks surrounding units. Promotion Requirements Beginner level of acquired knife techniques plus taking pollution sources, hidden knife. Promotion Ceremony Carrying a knife and committing an attack, taking the lives of three people in one hour. This is the promotion description for Blade Sequence in the game Mysterious Jianghu. This is also the sequence that Chen Yuyan can currently think of, which can quickly grasp power. The prerequisite requirements for the wine sequence are too strict, and the familiar sequences such as the hexagram sequence, Buddha sequence, strategy sequence, and medicine sequence are too weak in the early stages of the sequence. And during this time period, it corresponds to the early stage of the second expansion pack, Five Poisons Emerging from Barbarians, in Strange Jianghu. In half a year, the tribes of Nan Zhao, who had been fighting for thousands of years in the mountains, suddenly let go of their enmity and formed an alliance to jointly invade the southern Yunnan and Yuntao provinces. At that time, the southern Ming court was deeply embroiled in the vortex of war with Northern Wei and had no power to put out fires. At this time, Chen Yuyan is in the southern Yunnan province. People have foresight, but they have near worries. He must strive to have the ability to protect himself in the shortest possible time. Let's leave the Li mansion first. Chen Yuyan muttered to himself in a low voice, unsure of the identity of the person who strangled Li Qingsong. The enemy was hiding and the situation was unfavorable for him. It's impossible for oneself to say to the enemy, Hello, I'm not Li Qingsong, my name is Chen Yuyan. Can you spare me? Anyway, Chen Yuyan has no attachment to the Li mansion. Instead of staying here every day feeling anxious and worried, he might as well leave. Gather all the materials as soon as possible to promote to the blade sequence. If no one troubles him, he will leave Qingqing County directly. Revenge is impossible, it was Li Qingsong who died. What is the relationship between him and Chen Yuyan? But if someone really wants his life with a determined heart Chen Yuyan lowered her eyes and clenched her fists tightly. Let's see who kills who first. Let's invest some money, family. Love you so much, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 The Hopeless Knife You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 the hopeless knife but it's a cool autumn day. 
The sky is like a dark blue curtain, adorned with a few lonely clouds. The bustling street was separated by a wall outside the window, and the nursery rhyme that Qin Yuyan heard when he woke up was uploaded from the street. There can only be one source of this eerie nursery rhyme, and that is the compassionate Mother Church. Even the children on the street dare to openly spread the nursery rhymes of the compassionate Mother Church, and Qin Yuyan cannot imagine to what extent Qingqing County has been infiltrated by the compassionate Mother Church. Chen Yuyan sighed and took all the valuable things in the room, then quietly left the wing room. Arriving at the corner of the wall, Chen Yuyan stepped on the morgue and flipped out, looking around and disappearing into the crowd with his head down. Half an hour later, a sinister young man dressed in a brocade robe stood in front of the door, pale in face, tightly gripping the yellow paper thrown by Chen Yuyan in his hand. Thirteen younger brothers, you really make me feel uneasy. Isn't it good to be killed obediently? It actually caused your second brother's ceremony to fail and be devoured by evil forces. He lowered his head, coughed a few times, his voice hoarse, and said to the butler behind him. Uncle Liang, let the members of the Jackal Gang go and find Li Qingsong for me. I'm willing to turn Qingqing County upside down. If anything happens, I'll take responsibility, Li Qingxue. Live to see people, die to see corpses. As the most prosperous territory in the eight villages of ten miles, the streets and alleys of Qingqing County are bustling with people and bustling with excitement. Qingqing County is surrounded by water on one side, mountains on three sides, and the eastern side is slightly closer to the middle section of the new river. The water is slightly gentle, with waves and sails on the river. Commercial ports and docks on both sides are scattered, and the slogans of boatmen can be heard from time to time, one after another. Ho ho! Yo yo! Drag, drag, drag! Tea shops and liquor shops on the street are thriving, and in front of the shops hanging flags, waiters with white cloth on their shoulders are shouting hard, attracting passing caravans and people to come and sit leisurely, enjoying a sip of clear tea. Chen Yuyan held a wide bowl in his hand and sat upright, drinking the tea from the bowl in one gulp. The foundation of the martial arts system in Strange Jianghu is sequence, which is like the trunk of a tree. Only when the trunk is thick can the branches and leaves flourish. By setting their own sequence, people in the martial arts world can generate internal power and use it to perform various martial arts. The necessary item for promotion sequence is called pollution source, and in the martial arts world, it is called secret medicine. Martial arts combination plus secret medicine plus ritual equals sequence promotion. This is the most classic formula in Mysterious Jianghu, and it is also a formula that every player can memorize in their heart. This short formula succinctly encompasses the basic gameplay of the entire game. A player once analyzed on a forum that the essence of a sequence is pollution. Pollution gives people various powerful abilities but also brings the same degree of negative impact. For example, most swordsmen in the blade sequence are prone to anger and madness, picking up their swords and chopping at any word they don't agree with. If they kill a thousand enemies, they will lose eight hundred, and if they strike hard, they will not hesitate to strike themselves. And the musicians in the music sequence are always sentimental and indecisive in their actions. Nearly 70% of the musicians have committed suicide, with most of them trapped in love. The essence of a sequence is pollution, so sequence promotion is essentially the process of deepening pollution. Sequence promotion is determined based on the degree of pollution, such as initial pollution, deep pollution, severe pollution. After the pollution deepens, the characteristics of the sequence will also change. The deeper the pollution, the greater the increase or impact of the characteristics. The combination of sequence and martial arts, as well as the rituals performed, can affect the different generation characteristics. For Chen Yuyan, his biggest advantage at present is his foresight, not only knowing the direction of the future trend, but also remembering most of the secret medicine formulas in the 30.6 sequence. The only constraint on him is the pre-promotion technique in the promotion sequence. 
The skills required for promotion in the later stages of the sequence are almost all controlled by the major sects in the martial arts world and various royal families. It can be said that it is difficult for outsiders to obtain these skills. What the hell do you mean? I want to fight, right? The next door came shouting and cursing, indicating that the two sides had a conflict over their seats. Chen Yuyen glanced lightly and rubbed the spiritual jade pendant around his waist before getting up and leaving. Collect anger emotions from ten people and complete. Arriving at Pinyin Lane next to the dock, this is a poor area in Qingqing County, where many boatmen and fishermen's homes are located. To cover up, Chen Yuyen found a dilapidated room in Pinyin Lane, but the surrounding houses were also similar. Return to the house and close the door. Put down the package on your back, take out various herbs, and the spiritual jade pendant on your waist. These are the configuration materials for the secret medicine, Tibetan sword, especially the Tongling jade pendant, which can store various emotions. Just this telepathic jade pendant cost nearly half of Chen Yuyan's silver, along with other miscellaneous materials, leaving him with only a few dozen tails of silver left. However, these are all worth it. Only the money spent has value, and the hidden silver is no different from stones. Knife grass, white striped tree roots, tiger bones one by one, the ingredients were grilled on the fire and then put into a medicine stove for boiling. Chen Yuyan followed the steps in the game step by step, and finally put the Tongling Jade pendant into the cooked slurry. Half a quarter of an hour later, the thick slurry became transparent, no different from water, and the Tongling Jade pendant had turned pitch black, scorching all over. No, it should be called the secret medicine, Zhangdao, now. Chen Yuyan tied the jade pendant with a red string and wore it on his chest. The pollution inside would quietly seep into his body within a few days. Putting out the fire, Chen Yuyan lay on the bed, with his right hand resting on the back of his head and his left hand holding a jade pendant, closing his eyes and recuperating. Taking secret medicines has the effect of enhancing physical fitness, but this process is not pleasant. At sunset. The sky has darkened, and pedestrians on the street are scattered, mostly on their way home. There are no curfew regulations in the Southern Ming Dynasty, like the Zhuke Lane where the Li Mansion is located, which is still brightly lit at night and bustling with pedestrians. However, most residents of Pingyin Lane cannot even light a candle, and the light is dim at night. It is safer to go home and lie down early. Chen Yuyan, dressed in black and with a black cloth on his face, quietly left the back door without disturbing anyone. In recent days, apart from purchasing ingredients for preparing secret medicines, Chen Yuyan only goes out at night to purchase daily necessities. And now, he's going to steal things. If you want to promote your sequence, you need more than just a secret medicine. We still need advanced techniques. In the martial arts world, martial arts are divided into three categories. Acquired, innate, and mixed elements each category is further divided into three categories. A, B, and C. One of the prerequisites for initial contamination is to master an acquired knife technique. Coincidentally, Chen Yuyan remembers that a player once posted a very popular post on the forum, stating that the location of a serial mission was within Qingqing County. That player made 40 to 50 trips to buy liquor and bring herbs for this mission. After boosting the popularity of the Lin Mansion, Mr. Lin will take out a secret collection from his study and give it to the players as a gift. This secret book is called Wu Wang Knife, which happens to be a top dot notch sword technique from the day after tomorrow. Of course, the reason why this post became popular was not because of this inconspicuous acquired secret book at the time. But it's because the Lin family's condition is that players must marry the Lin family's legitimate daughter and become the Lin family's mistress and son. In law. But now it's not a game, and Chen Yuyan doesn't need to run 40 or 50 times to be the licking dog of the Lin family. Hidden in the shadows, Chen Yuyan bent down and walked briskly towards the direction of Lin Mansion. When Chen Yuyan arrived at the Lin Mansion, the night was already deep and apart from the chirping of frogs in the ditch, no other sound could be heard. Lin Mansion is not big, 
it is a courtyard with two entrances. The Lin family has been practicing medicine for generations and has opened two clinics in Qingqing County. Mr. Lin is a physician in the field of medicine sequence and has a good reputation in Qingqing County. Only Mr. Lin in the Lin family has practiced martial arts and been promoted to medicine sequence, while the other sons and grandchildren are still ordinary people. Taking advantage of the fact that Mr. Lin has been seeking medical treatment outside these days and there are no martial arts practitioners at home, Chen Yuyan just needs to be careful and sneak into the study to retrieve a book. The full moon hangs high in the sky. When it's ugly, people sleep the hardest, and it's also when Chen Yuyan sets off. Leaping off the wall, Chen Yuyan walked against it and soon arrived at the study. While collecting materials for the secret medicine, he was not idle and had already been busy exploring the internal structure of the Lin Mansion. Thank you to the crooked neck tree behind Lin Mansion. Gently pushing the door open, Chen Yuyan dodged into the study and took out a piece of fluorite from her arms. With a faint light, she quickly searched for the book, The Hopeless Knife. Treatise on Cold Damage and Miscellaneous Diseases Shenong Ben Chao Jing The Classic of Difficulties A Book of Pharmaceutical Classics was picked up and flipped through by Chen Yuyan, then put down again, and finally found an ancient book with a black cover in a wooden box in the corner. He opened it and saw a joyful expression. It is precisely the top-dot-notch sword technique of the day after tomorrow called Wu Wang Knife. Taking the hopeless knife into her arms, Chen Yuyan stood in place and thought for a moment. She took out half of the silver she had on her body and placed it on the desk, quietly leaving. He dare not say that he is a person with principles. For enemies or unforgivable villains, Chen Yuyan does not pay attention to the means of dealing with them, as long as he can kill the other party and do anything. But the Lin family, especially the old man of the Lin family, has saved countless lives and helped countless impoverished people in his lifetime. If it weren't for the urgency of the matter in taking power, Chen Yuyan wouldn't have resorted to this strategy as a third hand. Wait for him to memorize the hopeless sword in his heart, practice it, and then entrust someone to send it back. Returning to the dilapidated house in Pingan Lane, Chen Yuyan took off her night clothes, lit a candle, and sat cross-legged on the bed. The move style in Wu Wang Dao is multi-faceted and tricky, emphasizing bravery and speed. It overwhelms the opponent with momentum and crushes their combat beliefs, but it is not as open and close as military swordsmanship. Summarize the characteristics of the hopeless knife in one sentence. One shot of hard work, then another decline, and three exhaustion. If the opponent resists Chen Yuyan's first three attacks during the match, then Chen Yuyan has basically lost the opportunity to turn the tables. Taking out the inferior long sword purchased from the blacksmith's shop, Chen Yuyan got out of bed and began practicing his swordsmanship. This practice lasted for about ten days. Standing by the bed, exhaling a mouthful of turbid air, Chen Yuyan sheathed his knife and stood in place, his eyes shining brightly. It has been two days since he started using the hopeless knife. After being strengthened by the secret medicine, hidden knife, practicing the hopeless sword is truly twice the result with half the effort. Although Chen Yuyan still has no internal strength at this time, his physical fitness has been improved by the secret medicine, and he has mastered the hopeless sword, which is not what he used to be. Big brother, this is it. With a loud bang, the gate suddenly collapsed. Chen Yuyan frowned and looked, only seeing seven or eight people rushing in, either holding daggers or wooden sticks in their hands, with a fierce expression on their faces, clearly indicating that the visitor was not kind. The strong man led by him embraced his chest with both hands, and his exposed arms were tight and full of strength. He has a scar that runs through his right eye on his face, which looks fierce and evil, hence he is called the Scarface Jackal. Li Qingsong, Li Xiaoye, isn't he? Scarface Jackal's narrow and long eyes scan Chen Yuyan up and down, and he said with a smile on his face but not on his flesh. Your second brother asked us to take you home and come with us. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Ceremony You are listening at NovelFull.audio
Chapter 3 Ceremony Second Brother Li Qing Shui A flash of inspiration flashed in Qin Yuyan's mind, and all his previous doubts suddenly became clear, forming a conclusion in his heart. Master Li can really hide. It took so many people from our jackal gang to find you. Scarface Jackal was strong and strong, half a head taller than the people around him. He looked down at Qin Yuyan with a disdainful expression, as if watching wild dogs picking up garbage to eat in the slums. I don't know, I thought you were a bastard. Scarface Jackal's words made the other few burst into laughter. Chen Yuyan looked at the seven or eight strong men in front of him calmly without any waves, neither humble nor arrogant, and said calmly. Are you sure you want to catch me and leave? Ha! What are you thinking? The gang members nearby couldn't help but burst into laughter when they heard Chen Yuyan's words. Master Li is really naive. We are notifying you, not seeking your opinion. Scar-faced Jackal sneered. This spoiled young master may not have been foolish enough to drink. After speaking, he was too lazy to talk nonsense to Chen Yuyan anymore. He waved his hand and several members of the Jackal gang immediately gathered around, stabbing his limbs with daggers in his hand, intending to defecate Chen Yuyan's tendons on the spot. Don't resist, our brothers have rough hands and feet. If you accidentally break Mr. Li's hands and feet, it won't be beautiful. The surrounding gang members showed cruel smiles and said with ill intentions. What a poisonous heart! Chen Yuyan's gaze turned cold, his right wrist flipped over, and his long sword like a fierce tiger stepped out of the gate, heading straight towards the nearest thug. No hope knife. If you take action, you will die, there is no hope of regeneration. Speaking late, then fast. That thug didn't have time to react. The dagger in his hand was thrown away, and he watched helplessly as the cold light ran through his throat. Blood splattered, and he could only struggle to cover his throat, making a whooshing sound before falling to the ground. In the martial arts world, if others have malice towards you, you must respond with even greater malice. Eye for eye, use violence to control violence. For a moment, everyone present was stunned, some even unaware that their wooden stick had fallen to the ground. The members of the Jackal Gang are not good men and women, and some even carry human lives on their backs. But they have never seen it before, killing can be so straightforward and swift. This is not like killing someone, it's more like killing a chicken. Chen Yuyan's expression did not change at all, but with a hint of sarcasm in his eyes, he repeated what he had said before. Are you sure you want to catch me and leave? In the same words, different situations. Scarface Jackal was sweating coldly, about to say something, but by now his eyes had been filled with a blade of light. Magnificent and unstoppable. Misunderstandings, it's all misunderstandings, young Master Li. The scar-faced jackal no longer had the pretentious appearance he had just shown. He knelt down with a thud and begged for mercy. He could see that the Li Qingsong in front of him had definitely practiced martial arts and may even have mastered the sequence, which was incomparable to his appearance of relying on brute force to dominate. Chen Yuyan did not respond to him, just kept lifting his long sword and chasing after him. Everyone has arrived, then help me complete a promotion ceremony before leaving. Promotion Ceremony Carrying a knife to commit an attack, taking the lives of three people in one hour. In just a few snap fingers, Chen Yuyan's sword added another undead soul. He was originally worried about how to complete the ceremony, but unexpectedly, someone gave him a pillow just as he was about to fall asleep. You are all good people. Chen Yuyan sighed, and as he spoke, he delivered another knife, plunging the blade into the chest of the members of the jackal gang in front of him. It is rare in the martial arts world to have such a selfless and warm dot-hearted person. Blood gurgled out and soaked the ground red. The remaining peripheral people rushed out of the door, wanting to escape. Chen Yuyan did not stop them, but stood still, feeling the changes inside. At the moment of killing the third person, a warm current surged out of the Dantian and flowed throughout the body. Knife Sequence, Promotion 
Grasping the handle tightly, Chen Yuyan felt as if the long knife in his hand had become a part of his body, like arms and fingers, with a shared heart. At the same time, many insights about the hopeless knife also flooded into my heart one after another. The previously obscure and difficult to understand parts became clear and suddenly connected. After half an hour, Chen Yuyan finally regained his senses from his insights. He looked at the scarred jackal kneeling on the ground and sneered. I'm quite clever, I know how to kneel down and beg for mercy instead of choosing to run away. Chen Yuyan extended his long sword and gently patted the scar-faced jackal's face with the blade. If you had dared to run just now, this knife might have been stuck in your throat now, he said, yes, thank you very much, young masterly. I kowtowed to you. Scarface Jackal's face turned bitter, and he hated Li Ching Shui, this bastard, in his heart. He asked the Jackal gang to come and catch such a bad star. Didn't you be very arrogant just now? Why have you become a soft-footed shrimp now? Chen Yuyan looked coldly at Scarface Jackal's servile expression, and then remembered his haughty and arrogant appearance just now, inexplicably irritable. A wave of anger ignited inexplicably from the heart, with violent emotions constantly colliding with Chen Yuyan's nerves. He had not yet realized that the sequence characteristic anger was already beginning to affect his mind. Chen Yuyan raised the long knife in his hand, he needed an outlet to vent. Ah ah ah! It hurts so much, it's killing me. The long knife pierced straight into the scar-faced jackal's wrist, breaking the tendon of his left hand. Shut up, shout again and waste your right hand too. Chen Yuyan said coldly. Upon hearing this, the scar-faced jackal could only bite its tongue tightly, enduring the intense pain without making a sound. His face turned red, his veins bulging, and beads of sweat as big as beans kept dripping onto the ground, enduring it with great difficulty. Seeing this scene, Chen Yuyan not only felt no pleasure in his heart, but also became even more angry. He remembered what Scarface Jackal had said just now, and his eyes showed a cold expression. Where is the base of your jackal gang? Chen Yuyan asked in a cold voice. Ah! Scarface Jackal lifted his head and saw a pair of crimson, ferocious eyes. He was frightened to the point where he felt a chill in his heart, so he had to swallow his refusal and honestly told Chin Yuyan about the location of the Jackal Gang. Dead friends never die poor, big brother and second brother, don't blame me, third brother. I also want to live Chin Yuyan stabbed directly into the scar-faced Jackal's spiritual cover, ending his thoughts. The whole Jackal Gang is coming to find me, right? You all want me to die, right? Why bully me? Chen Yuyan's mind was a mess, his thoughts were chaotic, and he, who was filled with anger, now only wanted to vent his anger and kill. The members of the Jackal Gang deserve to die. Draw out the long sword, flick off the impurities on the blade, and swiftly step out of the door. Nanda Lane, the base of the Jackal Gang. The Jackal Gang has three jackals. Scar-faced Jackal, Jade-faced Jackal, and Tiger-faced Jackal. Among them, Scar-Faced Jackal is brave, Jade-Faced Jackal is cunning, and Tiger-Faced Jackal is steady. Inside, the Jade-Faced Jackal stroked the silver piled up like a small hill on the table with satisfaction, following his beard, and turned to say. Big brother, Li Qingxue is really rich. He helped him catch someone and gave us so much silver. The Tiger-Faced Jackal was nearly forty years old, with a rough face. When he heard his second brother's words, he laughed and said. Their Li family inherits the business sequence, and each one is rich and flowing. Not to mention a few hundred tails of silver, even if it's ten or twenty times more, the Li family can easily take it out. The jade-faced jackal exclaimed in amazement, envious. Undoubtedly, it is a sequence, and truly has great supernatural powers. The tiger-faced jackal shook its head and retorted. I can't say that either. Only a few of the Li family members who inherited the Shang sequence can survive through their forties. The money from the Li family was exchanged with life. 
Both of them were filled with sighs, and suddenly, a cold voice came through. Hee hee, have you ever thought about it? Your money was also exchanged with your life. Immediately after, a sharp arrow like silver light lit up, and the dagger tore through the wooden window, heading straight towards the face door of the tiger-faced jackal. The air was cut open by the blade, emitting a howling sound, like a desperate ghost. Busily, the tiger-faced jackal instinctively turned to his side, and a flying dagger brushed against his cheek, picking up about ten drops of sparkling blood. What kind of person? Yummy and Jackal suddenly reacted, picked up his long sword and rushed to his elder brother's side, staring tightly at the door. You took money to trouble me, don't you know who I am? Chen Yuyan walked into the house with a long knife in hand. Are you Li Qingsong? How did you get in? Yummy and Jackal frowned, and the Jackal gang's headquarters was divided into two courtyards. The inner courtyard and the outer courtyard, which were guarded by about ten members of the gang. Of course I walked in. Chen Yuyan waved the blood off his long sword and said, The minions outside, as well as your third brother, are all waiting for you to accompany them. What, what did you do to third brother? The tiger-faced jackal roared angrily. Kill it. Chen Yuyan's words are concise and concise, but his words are full of hostility. Third brother. Upon hearing this, Yummy and Jackal's body trembled. The three brothers had a great relationship. Although they were not biological brothers, in Yummy and Jackal's eyes, Scarface Jackal was no different from his own younger brother. Now hearing that my third brother died tragically, my heart is filled with immense pain. He stared fiercely at Chen Yuyan and said in a gruesome voice, All right, there is a way to heaven, you don't go, there is no door to hell, you come and throw yourself. Before he could finish speaking, the jade-faced jackal rushed over with a long sword in hand, go and bury my third brother. The tiger-faced jackal next to him showed sadness and remained silent. He squeezed out his tiger paws and rushed over from the other end. Tiger-faced jackal once accidentally swallowed the inner gallbladder of tiger spirit, which contained the energy of tiger evil in his body. After more than ten years of exploration, he finally created a unique set of martial arts. The third level martial arts of the day after tomorrow, Tiger Claw. Among the three jackals, the tiger-faced jackal is the most powerful. Two people besieged and came, full of killing intent. Looking at the two people driving straight in, Chen Yuyan sneered, I don't know what it means. Even the most powerful ordinary person cannot pose any threat in the face of sequences. Having internal strength, he and these two people are fundamentally two levels of existence. Chen Yuyan stood in place, towering and motionless. The tiger-faced jackal saw Chen Yuyan's middle door wide open, his eyes shining brightly, his body bent low, and his right foot pounded at the ladder's waist like a hammer. That force seems to be able to crack the ground with crushed stones, carrying a strong wind and rushing towards it. Chen Yuyan's eyes drooped slightly, but he didn't hide or dodge. Instead, he stepped forward and tilted his steps, causing him to fall into the arms of the tiger-faced jackal. The tiger-faced jackal was overjoyed in his heart, but he didn't expect Chen Yuyan to be so careless and reckless that he dared to fall into the trap. Tiger Claws the tiger-faced jackal exerted three more points of force and raised its right hand to grab towards Chin Yuyan's heart. If this is done well, I'm afraid we'll have to dig out a bloody hole. As they were about to collide, Chen Yuyan suddenly lowered her body and pressed against the ground, accelerating her speed and sliding out of the tiger-faced jackal's crotch. Tiger-faced jackal was taken aback, unable to react in time. He had no idea that a normal person could twist their body to that angle, and the speed was so fast. But before he could stop, he collided directly with the jade-faced jackal chasing after him. Yummy and jackal was also stunned. Isn't that Li Qingsong in front of him? Why did he suddenly become a big brother? The original situation of being sandwiched on both sides was cleverly resolved by Qin Yuyan, and both of them had to restrain their attack for fear of hurting their own people. Their own offensive was disrupted, and the two of them, 
tiger face and jackal, felt as uncomfortable as eating a dead fly. They quickly adjusted their breath and planned to regroup. But Qin Yu Yan wouldn't just stand there foolishly, leaving them time to adjust. He raised his head proudly, his gaze aligned with the blade, and his internal strength surged out of his body, converging on the long sword, forming a dark light film. The next moment, the bright sword light suddenly swung out. Knife to bone. Hopeless knife. With the blessing of the characteristic knife-like bone, Chen Yuyan's knife technique is now far beyond people's reach, with a sharp and unyielding blade. With a growl, it was the sound of flesh and blood piercing through. After a cup of tea, Chen Yuyan regained his senses and looked at the two corpses on the ground, still warm and a bit confused. How did I become so irritable? Even now, Chen Yuyan still feels flustered in her heart. He remembered curling up in this narrow and dilapidated house these days, enduring the stench from all around and the cold of the night. He was constantly on tenterhooks, afraid that someone from the Li family or the compassionate mother's sect would come and kill him. Who made me so embarrassed? Chen Yuyan gently rotated the handle of the knife in his hand, with the tip still stuck in the flesh and blood. It's not the previous petty servant, nor is it the leader of this bullshit jackal gang. It's my good second brother whom I've never met before. Damn it, damn it. Anger reignited. Not right. Chen Yuyan suddenly realized that his current state was not right. Without much thought, Chen Yuyan quickly understood why he had become so. It was the negative impact of the knife sequence that made him so impulsive and irritable. Chen Yuyan frowned, not expecting the impact of the knife sequence to be so severe that it had slightly distorted his subjective consciousness. In the game, Strange Jianghu, there is also a setting for, rationality value. Players must maintain their rationality value above the qualified line, otherwise their own sequence will lose control and their life will disappear. But Chen Yuyan has always relied on the Qingming pill, given by the Krypton monthly card to maintain his rationality. Now, in the real world, he has forgotten about this. In the future, there will be two shifts of 6,000 in one day plus, end of this chapter. Chapter 4 Soldiers Who Surrender People Without Fighting You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Soldiers Who Surrender People Without Fighting Qin Yuyan remembers the prescription of Qingming pill, but firstly, the main ingredient of Qingming pill, Qingshan, is only distributed in the 100,000 mountains south of Yuntao province. Secondly, refining Qingming pill requires at least an alchemist with deeply polluted drug sequence to refine it, which he currently cannot obtain. Chen Yuyan pondered that southern Xinjiang was an important part of his plan. There was already an opportunity there that he was determined to win, and now he had to go there to purchase Qingshan and entrust someone to refine Qingming Dan. It seems that going to southern Xinjiang needs to be put on the agenda as soon as possible, but fortunately, I have already been promoted and have the ability to protect myself. First, solve the remaining matters and then go to southern Xinjiang. Based on the information obtained by Qin Yuyan from several members of the Jackal Gang, combined with the yellow paper he first saw, he already understood why Li Qing Shui wanted to strangle Li Qing Song alive. Fallacy Sequence Initial pollution characteristic, fallacy. Words and actions are full of temptation, which can slightly affect the judgment of others, and the destructive power of hidden weapons is increased. Characteristic, evil opinion. The personality becomes crazy and sometimes does things that are incomprehensible. Promotion criteria. Beginner level of lightness skills acquired and taking secret medicine, strange theory. Promotion ceremony. Do things that violate secular ethics, including but not limited to son marrying mother, father occupying daughter, sibling rivalry, and fratricidal violence. The fallacy sequence is the most notorious sequence in the Simo religion, which has caused huge waves in several dynasties due to its bewitching sequence effect. Li Qing Shui, Li Qing Shui. I don't even intend to trouble you anymore, why are you still chasing me and not letting go? 
Chen Yuyan admits that he is not a person who can repay good for bad. Why should we repay our grudges with kindness? He is not so noble, his style is to seek revenge and eradicate the root cause. Chen Yuyan stood up and searched the two corpses on the ground, taking away all valuable items. Glancing at the pile of silver on the table again, pondering for a moment, stuffing it into a cloth bag and taking it all away. After thoroughly sweeping the jackal gang, Chen Yuyan walked out of the gate with such integrity. In this world, as long as the deceased are not high-ranking officials, wealthy gentry, or officials, they are too lazy to manage. More than ten thugs have died, and the county constable can at most come over and take a look. It's almost like one died in a street fight. There is no silver to take, why bother so much? After being looted by the jackal gang, Chen Yuyan no longer returned to Ping An Lane, but instead requested a Tianzi room at Xuanfu Inn on Zhuke Street and lived comfortably inside. As for Li Qingshui, there will naturally be someone to deal with him. The best strategy is to defeat the enemy without fighting. The first time Li Qingshui strangled Li Qingsong was for the ceremony, but the next time he sent the jackal gang to arrest him, it was not just for the ceremony. He is afraid. In the secular world, the position of the compassionate mother cult is just like that of the cults on earth, where everyone shouts and beats every mouse on the street. Li Qingshui is afraid that his relationship with the compassionate mother sect will be exposed by Li Qingsong, and his good days will come to an end. Unfortunately, Chen Yuyan planned to do so. As the saying goes, the momentum of attack and defense varies without benevolence and righteousness. Now the two have switched positions, with Chen Yuyan in the dark and Li Qingshui in the bright. He just needs to lie in the Xuanfu Inn and admire the struggles of this cheap second brother. I asked the waiter for a pen and paper, and Chen Yuyan recounted in an orderly manner what had happened in the past few days. Then, he gave a detailed introduction to the promotion ceremony of the Fallen Sequence. Special emphasis was placed on the eight words, brothers and sisters fighting against each other. After drying the ink, Chen Yuyan transcribed more than ten more copies and prepared to send one to each brother and sister. Chen Yuyan is not sure if Li Qingshui is the only one in the Li mansion who is related to the Simu sect, but at least the elder brothers Li Qinghou and Li Ruoping are definitely not members of the Simu sect. Both of them inherit the Li family's business sequence, and the business sequence hates the absurd sequence that is done by any means. After all, making money requires paying attention to rules. This is a conflict between sequences that has nothing to do with individuals, for example, the knife sequence and sword sequence are always in constant conflict, the sequence of law and the sequence of Confucianism will always be like water and fire. At least in stages where the sequences cannot intersect, there is absolutely no possibility of contact. If Li Qingshui is the only one related to the compassionate mother sect, then it is a one-dot-sided siege. If not enough, then the entire Li mansion will become an ancient version of werewolf killing. In fact, it is also possible to directly expose this matter to the county government, as the government's tolerance for the compassionate mother church is almost zero. It's just that Chen Yuyan doesn't want to get involved with the government, and it won't be long before Nanming's attitude towards the compassionate mother sect will undergo a 180-degree turn. Chen Yuyan estimated that during this period, Meng Fuyao, the godmother of the compassionate mother sect, had been in the palace for several years, and now she was probably about to become the empress of the mother ceremony world. When Li Qingshui, who was arrested and imprisoned, transformed into an official, Chen Yuyan went blind. He sat on the mountain watching the tiger fight, watching the internal fights of the Li family. If Li Qingshui still didn't die, Chen Yuyan would jump out and kill him. Anyway, Li Qingshui must die. Chen Yuyan doesn't want to leave him behind and create any more moths. At night. Li Mansion, West Wing Courtyard. Young master, there are servants coming to report. Say. Li Qingshui sat on the rocking chair, closed his eyes and enjoying the massage of the beautiful maid behind him. Housekeeper Liang hesitated for a moment and gritted his teeth, saying. The jackal gang has been dispersed, 
and all three jackals of the jackal gang have died, and they were also killed by young master Li Qingsong. What? Li Qingxue suddenly stood up, and the maid behind her was caught off guard by the corner of the rocking chair, hitting her face and falling to the ground. She covered her face and sobbed softly. But Li Qingxue didn't even glance at her, instead he stared fixedly at manager Liang, his eyes cracking. How could it be? How could that trash possibly do it? There's nothing impossible, second brother. A cold male voice reached Li Qingxue's ear. Li Qingxue looked up and saw his elder brother Li Qingho looking at him coldly. A few days later, news came from the Li mansion. Li Qingxue, the second young master of the Li family, colluded with the compassionate mother sect and attempted to harm the lives of his family members. He was discovered and arrested and handed over to the county government. Three days later at noon, he was executed for personal gain. As soon as this news came out, the entire Qingqing County became lively. On the day of execution, the entire execution ground was surrounded by melon-eating people inside and outside, with a sea of people. There are already few instances of public execution, let alone a wealthy young master beheading. This has made the vast impoverished people even more fond of it. With a command, a ferocious-looking head flew high, dancing together with warm blood flying in the sky. Chen Yuyan hid in the crowd, staring at the bodies on the execution ground, then turned around and left. When there is moonlight, the sky is thin and bright, and the night is also painted with a light and faint moonlight white. The faint moonlight reflected on the blue stone slabs of the street, illuminating the path ahead. The back door of Li Mansion. You have caused a big trouble this time. We must take you out and preserve the remaining power of the Holy Church. Li Qingho's half-face was hidden in the shadow, and his voice was erratic. Li Qingxue knew that his big brother was not in front of him. The real Li Qingho had already died a few months ago. We have already picked you out by Li Daitao. You can go back to the Holy Church yourself, and the rest will be arranged by the envoy. Yes. Li Qingxue nodded unwillingly, using up all the credit he had earned from selling the entire Li family in the execution at noon today. From then on, he could only leave his hometown and had to start from the lowest level of believers. Li Qingsong, it's all you. I want you to die hard. On Li Qingxue's lowered head, his face was ferocious and almost twisted. All right, hurry up and leave no trace. Li Ruoping already has some doubts about me. Li Qingho dropped this sentence and closed the door to leave. Li Qingxue stood alone at the door, looking at the tightly closed door, feeling melancholy in his heart. This used to be his home. Not now. Turning around and leaving, the solitary figure was stretched out for a long time, deeply attached to the shadow of the Li mansion and unwilling to leave. After walking a few streets, we arrived at Pingan Street, and then took a few steps forward and turned a corner to reach the New Jiang River, where there were boats to pick him up and leave. Suddenly, Li Qingxue stopped in his tracks. A tall and slender body blocked his way. Second brother, long time no see. Chen Yuyan lifted her head and gave him a bright smile. Li Qingxong. The hated enemy was right in front of him, and Li Qingxue was so angry that he almost gritted his teeth. Second brother, I'm so happy to see that you're not dead. Chen Yuyan chuckled and even winked at Li Qingxue. He had already noticed something was wrong at the noon execution ground, and there was no secret medicine breath emanating from the dead, Li Qingxue. Since Li Qingxue is going to kill Li Qingsong to complete the ceremony, it indicates that he has already taken the secret medicine. If the ceremony is not completed, Taking the secret medicine can not only enhance physical fitness, but also prevent contamination from being absorbed by the human body. Once you die during this period, the secret medicine in your body will immediately overflow and dissipate into the air. But Chen Yuyan did not feel the scent of the secret medicine emanating from the execution ground. This can only indicate that Li Qingxue, who died on the execution ground. It's fake. 
Chen Yuyan really didn't expect that even the Li family could spare Li Qingxue. Looking back on the life of Li Qingsong in the Li mansion before, he couldn't help but sigh. Sure enough, the illegitimate cannot be compared to the legitimate. But isn't there oneself here? The Li family believed that Li Qingxue had left safely, and he solved the problem of Li Qingxue's future troubles. Everyone is overjoyed. Happy. Li Qingxue self-deprecatingly said, staring at Chen Yuyan intently and sternly. Although I don't know what happened, you're definitely not my cowardly and incompetent thirteenth brother. He would never have the strength to kill the three jackals of the jackal gang, nor would he have the courage to rob and kill me. Who the hell are you? Chen Yuyan touched his nose and didn't expect Li Qingxue to notice something was wrong. It is also unclear how useless the original Li Qingsong was. However, it had nothing to do with Chen Yuyan, and he was too lazy to talk nonsense to Li Qingxue anymore. He casually replied, I am your father, and then drew out his long sword, stepping on the ground with his right foot and jumping out. The snowy blade reflects the full moon in the sky, gradually covered by the dark internal force. Knife to bone. Hopeless knife. Killing ordinary people with the body of a sequence is naturally easy and easy to capture. Especially the blade sequence, which has extremely strong frontal combat capabilities. Feeling the icy sword intent coming towards him, Li Qingxue was frightened to the death and quickly used his lightness skills with the intention of escaping. He had originally attempted to resist, but it wasn't until Qin Yuyan struck out that he realized how naive his thoughts were. Now Li Qingxue's mind is full of thoughts of escaping. Escape, the farther you escape, the better. In his eyes, the swift white light continued to expand until it engulfed the last bit of sight. My head, how did it fly? This is Li Qingxue's last thought. Afterwards, Chen Yuyan walked slowly to the body of Li Qingxue and inserted a long knife into his head to stir. This is not abusing the body, but rather repairing the knife and removing any potential complications. It's not that everything is fine after a person dies. The world is full of wonders, such as, corpse sequence, which allows for dialogue with corpses and even extraction of their memories during their lifetime. Only by completely destroying the head can safety be guaranteed. After all, taking possession is a taboo in the martial arts world, and Chen Yuyan doesn't want to cause big trouble in the future due to some negligence. After dealing with everything, Chen Yuyan calmly left the scene and prepared to return to the inn to have a good sleep. Clear minded and refreshed. Next, it's time to head to southern Xinjiang. Thousands of miles away, deep underground. The commander-in-chief, another flesh worm that stores souls, has been discarded. How many are left? There are still 3,522 left. In such a big world, accidents always occur. As long as the quantity is sufficient to support the progress of the plan, there is no need to worry. Following the sound, I looked up and saw a huge stone statue of a kind mother, depicting a kind smile. In the boundless darkness, it seemed to have come to life. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Nanjiao Racing Team You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Nanjiao Racing Team A curly mist rises from the camphor forest, strands hanging on the camphor leaves, wiped between the green rocks, like a light veil on a jade girl's arm, like the fine thread spit out by a silkworm's mouth. The distance is a vast expanse of white clouds, the nearby wet mud and wind and rain hit shrubs, and the persistent and bitter wind drives the pouring rainstorm across the sky. Wow, the pouring rain immediately soaked the convoy and forced it to stop moving. When will this rain end? Chen Yuyan sat in the carriage, sipping a sip of tea and suppressing the restlessness in her heart. Influenced by his characteristic of anger and anger, he now feels frustrated even when it comes to rain. That's also why Chen Yuyan is sitting in the carriage. In the past month, he has dismantled three convoys in a row. Whenever anyone in the team neglects him, Chen Yuyan will be furious. 
Under great helplessness, Chen Yiyan had to change his face and bought a carriage with a lot of money, staying in it all day and refusing to see anyone. He is currently in a convoy from Inshan County, the capital of Pingnan Prefecture, to the Nanjiao tribe to purchase specialties, while also selling some daily necessities such as salt tea and porcelain silk. There is no road guide or main road, but a detour through the mountains. In short, this is a black train engaged in smuggling. Accompanying them were not only merchants who purchased herbs, hired guards, but also many herb pickers and scattered guests like Chen Yuyan. Chen Yuyan once secretly counted the number of people and found that the total number of people in the convoy had reached over a hundred, and the accompanying guards were all sturdy, wielding knives and guns, with a fierce appearance. There are just so many people, not even a warrior who has opened the sequence. This is also normal. Southern Xinjiang is already a wilderness, with remote areas and underdeveloped martial arts. If placed in the central plains, any escort from any escort agency would carry internal strength. Cars rustling, horses rustling, and pedestrians with bows and arrows at their waists. Chen Yuyan withdrew his gaze and sat cross-legged, focusing his attention on himself, working on his internal power. If sequence is the core of a military system, then internal force is the presentation of sequence. After promotion, the internal power of the human body is generated, and the warrior has the ability to fly over eaves, climb walls, and carve mountains and stones. Only by mastering the sequence can one truly embark on the path of practicing martial arts. Like the previous tiger faced jackal and Li Qing Shui, who had mastered the martial arts, they were still vulnerable to Chen Yuyan, who had already been promoted. People like them can bully ordinary people, but encountering martial artists who master sequences can only lead to a dead end. After entering the martial arts world, the first thing to do is to open up meridians, which is known as the inner scenery in the martial arts world. The interior is further subdivided into interior foreground and interior background, with the former opening up the series 12, the latter opens up the eight extraordinary meridians. After the human body's meridians are fully opened, internal energy flows in the body according to the size of the circumference, continuously flowing and generating. The Yellow Emperor's inner canon Ling Shu Hai Luan states. The twelve meridians belong to the internal organs, and the external collaterals are in the limbs. The twelve main meridians of the human body, including the three yin and three yang meridians of the hands and feet, are the main body of the meridians, hence also known as the twelve meridians. The twelve meridians are also the main channels for the circulation of qi, blood, and internal energy in the human body, including the hand tai yin lung meridian, hand yang ming large intestine meridian, foot yang ming stomach meridian, foot tai yin spleen meridian, hand shao yin heart meridian, hand tai yang small intestine meridian, foot tai yang bladder meridian, foot shao yin kidney meridian, hand juyin pericardium meridian, hand shao yang triple jiao meridian, foot shao yang gallbladder meridian, and foot juyin liver meridian. With each opening of a proper path, the internal strength of the body will continue to grow, and the power of the cultivation will also be stronger. The breakthrough of each level of martial arts requires deepening the pollution level of the sequence, as the strength of internal forces is closely related to the degree of pollution. The deepening of pollution requires the strength of internal forces to support more intense consumption after breakthroughs. Simply put, Cultivation is related to the amount of internal power, while the degree of sequence pollution is related to the strength of internal power. To break through the realm of martial arts, both the quantity and quality of internal strength are indispensable. After the completion of both the front and back interior scenes, a series of deep pollution must be carried out to enhance and enhance internal forces, in order to enter the next level of great realm. Exterior Scenes it has been over a month since leaving Qingqing County, and Chen Yuyan never leaves his hand every day, grinding and soaking. Now he has opened up three serious paths and entered the inner realm, and with the blessing of the characteristic knife-bone transformation, his mastery of the hopeless knife has become increasingly proficient. It's just a matter of grinding water to open up the right path. 
We must be diligent and down dot to dot earth in expanding and unblocking. Being serious and down dot to dot earth, one should not rely on swallowing external medicine to promote growth, let alone think about receiving a top shot. Such people are likely to waste their lives in the background. The main idea of the extraordinary scriptures is illusory and unpredictable. Once, the young master of a major martial arts sect directly opened eight extraordinary scriptures overnight by swallowing external medicine, but in the future, he can still dominate the martial arts world without any unstable foundation. Chen Yuyan still has thousands of silver coins on his body, all of which were looted from the jackal gang. Although not many, they are enough for him to prepare some pills and prepare for the inner and outer scenes. The sound of rain outside the window was drizzling, giving off a sense of tranquility. Chen Yuyan listened quietly, feeling quite comfortable. Unfortunately, a strange and noisy sound suddenly came from outside the window, breaking the tranquility and causing Chen Yuyan to frown. He tightly grasped the handle of the knife in his hand and quickly released it again. Be restrained, restrain. Chen Yuyan warned himself in his heart. Opening the curtains, I saw that all the guards of the convoy had raised their weapons, guarding the convoy in the center and preparing for battle. Not long after, the strange noises near the convoy came closer and kept coming from all directions, not knowing where they came from. Suddenly, a yellow-green face smeared with juice emerged from the mist, crossed the carriage, and looked at the people and horses in the convoy. He wore a feathered crown on his head, with large eyes, sharp teeth, a tongue that seemed to bite with blood, and a red spider pattern on his eyebrows. Ha! <sighs> More and more patterned faces emerged from the mist in all directions, revealing their robust figures and surrounding the convoy. Phew, a hint of yellow-green mist suddenly emanated from the mouth of the patterned face and gradually drifted away. There is no need to remind anyone, the first reaction in everyone's heart is. Toxic. Shoot arrows. Hurry up and eat all the detoxification pills. Someone shouted loudly, followed by dozens of feather arrows flying out of the convoy and shooting into the white mist. I vaguely heard mournful cries coming out, but no one showed a relaxed expression and instead became even more nervous. Because the number of patterned faces has increased instead of decreasing, the number has become more and more numerous, even the number cannot be counted. These patterned faces are nothing else, they are the barbarians of the 100,000 mountains, and the lines on their eyebrows should be from the Red Bone Spider tribe. The Nanjiao barbarians like to paint various patterns on their skin with venom, and the tattoos on their eyebrows represented the most revered poisonous beast in their hearts. As feather arrows shot out from the convoy, the barbarians of the Red Bone Spider tribe, led by them, let out an inexplicable roar. Immediately, all the barbarians rushed in from all directions, holding bone spurs and wooden mallets, and playing the flute to hide inside, making it difficult to defend against. Although the caravan entered southern Xinjiang to do business with the Nanjiao barbarians, the vast territory of 100,000 mountains and hundreds of tribes, not all of which had established diplomatic relations with the Ming people. Tribes like Red Bone Spider and Poisonous Grasshopper prefer to directly seize and engage in unprofitable transactions rather than purchasing medicinal materials. Just like now. Listening to the sound of fighting outside the window, Chen Yuyan stood up and drew out his long sword, showing excitement on his face. During these days, Chen Yuyan has been trying to suppress her anger, but as the saying goes, blocking is better than dispersing, and dispersing is better than attracting. Moderate and appropriate venting of one's anger is necessary to maintain a calm mindset and rationality. After experiments, Chen Yuyan found that it was easy to release anger. Killing and setting fire, hiring prostitutes for fun, eating, drinking, and even sleeping can all release the anger in her heart. To put it bluntly, it means how to enjoy it. Now there are sandbags delivered to your door, and Chen Yuyan won't refuse. Moreover, he is still a barbarian from the Red Bone Spider tribe, and he will not show mercy. These animals still retain the tradition of cannibalism. 
Stepping out of the carriage, it was already a mess outside, with torches dancing and swords and shadows everywhere. Blood was carried by rainwater and smashed onto the ground, mixed with mud and water. At this moment, the convoy was also in chaos, with the outer guards fighting fiercely, while the scattered individuals inside went crazy and pushed back, fearing they would be harmed. A pot-bellied merchant, a herb picker carrying bamboo baskets, and some merchants dressed in cloth clothes. At this moment, it was impossible to distinguish who was who. Everywhere was crowded with people, and the muddy ground was slippery. Some even slipped while stepping on water, but were still trampled on by later people, and it was unclear whether they would die or live in the future. Chen Yuyan saw it in his eyes, but his heart was calm. This is the end without power. Chen Yuyan didn't mean to blame those people, because even if he were just an ordinary person, his performance in such situations would probably not be much better. You could die at any moment, who can calm down? Grasping the long sword, Chen Yuyan's pursuit of strength became even more determined. It was the long knife in his hand that gave him the confidence to be calm and composed, allowing him to live up to his true self. Half a pillar of incense had already left the wing room, and Chen Yuyan, who had been standing in place, was also noticed by the barbarians. Some barbarians held snow.white bone spurs and headed straight towards him. Chen Yuyan looked up and found that the guard in his direction had already been breached, and a series of barbarians were constantly rushing into the battlefield from this breach. As Chen Yuyan watched his face rush towards him with patterns covered in juice, he sighed lightly and shook his head, saying. Why come to die? The long sword was drawn out and placed in front of me, turning into black light and being chopped out. It's the hopeless knife. Now Chen Yuyan has opened up three meridians, with a stronger internal power and a significant improvement in explosive power and endurance. At least dealing with these barbarians who are just a bit brute but have no rules and regulations is as easy as chopping melons and vegetables. Passing by the barbarian holding a bone spur, the figure behind him fell to the ground with a loud roar, and the body separated. Not satisfying enough. Chen Yuyan's eyes gradually turned red, and the pungent smell of blood stimulated his nerves. So he simply rushed out of that gap and rushed into the pile of barbarians to fight. The momentum is unstoppable and unstoppable. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Barbarian Women You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Barbarian Women In just an instant, Chen Yuyan flashed up to the barbarian, raised his long sword, and swiftly swung out like lightning. And this is just the beginning, with one knife falling and another knife rising in an instant. Between the ups and downs of the rabbit, dozens of knives have already fallen, which is outrageous and brutal. There are no skills, some are just cutting to the flesh, some are just the purest violence. Any barbarian who stands in front of Chen Yuyan cannot escape the fate of being in a different place. Soon, Chen Yuyan's heroic performance caught the attention of the barbarians. They screamed and rushed towards Chen Yuyan one after another, attempting to use the tactic of a sea of people to surround him. But after all, barbarians are still human beings, knowing joy, anger, sorrow, and joy, and what fear is. Even wild beasts know how to run away when encountering invincible enemies, let alone humans. After Chen Yuyan killed dozens of barbarians in a row, all the barbarians were frightened and engaged in a fierce battle, almost wanting to leave first. On the road he walked, there were limbs and arms everywhere, as well as soil soaked in blood. After the long knife was chopped down, the black light on the blade disappeared suddenly, and the scream stopped abruptly. However, the body of the barbarian in front of him was still convulsing, like a live fish being pierced by chopsticks. The crowd in the convoy looked at the bodies of the barbarian figures with their heads missing and blood gushing from their necks. They were all stunned and thought they had dazzled and hallucinated. The towering head was like the last straw that crushed the camel. Finally, some barbarians couldn't bear the pressure emanating from Chin Yuyan's body, let out a strange cry, and fled backwards as if losing their lives. The power of role models is infinite. 
Some people make a good start, and the remaining barbarians escape cleanly in just a moment, leaving only the corpses of their companions on the ground. The rain has stopped. The scene fell into a deadly silence. After a while, someone finally reacted and shouted. What are you still waiting for? Thank you, hero. As soon as these words were spoken, it was like releasing the pause button, and the scene suddenly came back to life. Thank you very much, Great Xia, for taking the initiative to kill these ignorant barbarians for us. When the people around saw such movements, they quickly shouted at Qin Yuyan, Thank you very much for taking action. There's no need to be like this. Eliminating traitors and punishing evil is what we, as people in the martial arts world, should do. Chen Yuyan waved his hand and said, Besides, we are already fellow countrymen. How can I, Chen Yuyan, watch our fellow countrymen suffer? Many people in the convoy were deeply moved by Chen Yuyan's stern and righteous demeanor. Chen Dasha, from now on, you will be my benefactor. If you need me in the future, please feel free to command me. I, Zhao Ergu, have no complaints. And I, Lu Hu. Also count me as Baishan. The scene suddenly became joyful and harmonious, with everyone bowing to Qin Yuyan one after another. Qin Yuyan didn't put on airs, was friendly and approachable. Returning to the carriage, it was already filled with food and wine that everyone had brought, as well as many unique wild fruits from Nanjiao. As soon as he entered the carriage, Chen Yuyan's smile disappeared without a trace. There is a reason for his pretentious behavior. Sitting in the carriage, Chen Yuyan has been thinking a lot during this period, especially about what features to choose in the future and how to solve the negative impact of these features. Since you have chosen the blade sequence, you can only continue to move forward. However, the characteristic of anger and anger in the knife sequence has seriously affected Chen Yuyan's words and actions. A person can't even control their own behavior and behavior, why talk about being a good person? What is the difference between such a person and a wild beast? No wonder the great sect of practicing swords is either built in the far north or classified as an evil and leftist sect. Chen Yuyan smiled bitterly. The two most famous sects in the Blade Sequence are the Blade Sect of Buzhou Mountain in the Northern Wei Dynasty and the Great Evil Sect Shura Sect. The former spends years in a glacier over 10,000 meters, suppressing anger through the cold of the mysterious ice. The latter simply let go of themselves, doing whatever they wanted, and in the end, they angered the heavens and people, directly entering the evil path from the Orthodox Sect, and almost being wiped out by the entire sect. He can keep his mind clear by relying on Qingming Pill, but Qingming Pill is only a second. Class Pill after all, with limited medicinal power. Once Qin Yuyan's knife sequence is deeply contaminated, taking Qingming Pill will not have such a significant effect. It's impossible for oneself to stay on a snowy mountain like the people of the sword sect for a lifetime, right? As for letting go of anger and killing indiscriminately, it's just drinking a dove to quench thirst, fishing with all one's might, and one day the sequence will lose control. So we can only rely on extraordinary willpower to forcefully suppress anger, and there are also people like Song Wukui, the Heavenly Blade, on the Weighty List, who, with one strike per person, measured the Southern Ming Dynasty and bravely resisted the negative impact of the sequence. But how many characters like Song Wuqi are there? Counting the thousand-year history of the Southern Ming Dynasty, there are only two or three people. Chen Yuyan believes that he does not have this talent and talent, and the initial level of pollution in the blade sequence requires him to use drugs to suppress his anger. So the words he said after driving away the barbarians were for his future plans. Anyway, even if you say some face-saving words, you won't lose a piece of meat. Be prepared for the rain, be prepared for any danger. Knife Sequence Deep Pollution Characteristic, Jealousy of Evil Harbors a righteous heart and harbors disgust towards those who do evil. Promotion Requirements Beginner Level of Innate Knife Technique plus Beginner Level of Justice Fist plus Taking Secret Medicine, Selfless. Promotion Ceremony The Great Hero of Chivalry, Serving the Country in the People, 
doing good deeds and righteous deeds, is sung by the world. Your deeds are sung by people in one prefecture, and at least a thousand people have received your favor. After the pollution level of the sequence deepens, new characteristics can be revealed through different combinations of martial arts and rituals. Equivalent to in-dot-game training, some can wash away the original features, while others only increase without decreasing. The characteristic of being jealous of evil washes away the characteristic of being angry, and in Qin Yian's view, the negative impact of this characteristic is no different. But there are gains and losses, and the increase in features can be equated with the negative impact. The small negative impact indicates that this characteristic is weak. Weakness is the greatest sin. So this is just Chen Yuyan's preparation, in case he doesn't seize the opportunity in southern Xinjiang. So if Chen Yuyan doesn't want to become crazy, he can only do this. All plans need to be constantly adjusted and changed based on future events. Chen Dashia, are you there? The guard outside the carriage gently tapped on the wooden window frame and cautiously inquired. Chen Yuyan stood up, feeling a little impatient. He walked out of the carriage and asked in a warm voice, What's up? Feel free to let me know if you need my help. The guard couldn't help but feel admiration for Chen Yuyan upon hearing these words. Undoubtedly, he is the great hero Chen, always thinking for others. He waved his hand and hurriedly said, It's not that anyone needs help, there's something I need you to make a decision on. The guard led Chen Yuyan towards the convoy and said as he walked. After those barbarians escaped, they left behind a group of bound barbarian female slaves, and everyone didn't know how to deal with them. Everyone wants to hear your opinion. As they spoke, the two had already arrived at the right front of the convoy. At this point, the area is already crowded with people, everyone pointing and pointing inside. You must have killed everyone. The barbarians don't have a good thing. Didn't you almost get killed by the barbarians just now? But these are all women, I think it's better to let them go. Oh, you idiot. Everyone was arguing endlessly, unable to reach a consensus. Chen Dashia is here, let's all make way. The guard shouted loudly, and the people around were also very conscious of giving way to Chen Yuyan. Chen Yuyan walked in and saw a group of dirty and naked barbarian women. The tribes in southern Xinjiang will also invade each other. The victorious side will take away the prisoners of the defeated tribes, the men will bury them on the spot, and the women will be taken back to have children. Looking at the blue silkworm tattoos on their eyebrows, Chen Yuyan knew in his heart that these were probably women from defeated tribes abducted by the Red Bone Spider tribe. Let's put it all away. Chen Yuyan pondered for a moment before speaking. In fact, his reason is very simple. If these people are released, they are all thanks to his kindness. At first glance, there are about a hundred barbarian women bound up here. Isn't the ceremony almost one-tenth completed? I think so in my heart, but on the surface, Chen Yuyan definitely can't say that. As the saying goes, the enemy of the enemy is our friends. The barbarians of the Red Bone Spider tribe have conquered their tribe and killed their relatives. Don't they hate the barbarians of the Red Bone Spider tribe in their hearts? The internal conflicts within the Nanjiao tribe were incessant, and not all barbarians were like the Red Bone Spider tribe, drinking blood and fur. For example, you are now going to other tribes to conduct transactions. Is it difficult for you to kill all the barbarians there as well? Besides, if you want me to bully these weak women, forgive me Chen for not being able to do it, and I won't let you do it either. Chen Yuyan spoke with righteousness and righteousness, his face firm and I dot catching. Well said. You truly deserve to be the great Xia Chen. That's right, let me be a master and take action on a little girl in her early twenties, I don't want to. Everyone was filled with indignation and agreed with Chen Yuyan's statement. Chen Yuyan showed a satisfied smile and then organized everyone to help these barbarian women untie the vines tied to their bodies. These barbarian women all knelt down and kowtowed to Chen Yuyan, crying with tears. Although they didn't understand the Mandarin of the Central Plains, they could still see that Chen Yuyan had saved them. 
Not long after, these barbarian women were all released and stumbled towards the depths of the jungle. Wow, Bukatuko. Pop 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 Suddenly, a burst of screams and curses reached Chen Yuyan's ear. He frowned and looked around, only to see a group of newly released barbarian women constantly beating and cursing around a thin figure. The severity of her actions seemed to make her want to be beaten to death. What's going on? Chen Yuyan walked over and pulled away the savage woman who was being bullied, frowning and asking. The barbarian woman who was pulled apart saw Chen Yuyan and danced loudly, saying a lot, but Chen Yuyan couldn't understand the barbarian language at all and listened in confusion. Fortunately, the guard beside him could understand the barbarian language and translated to Chen Yuyan. She said this woman is a disaster star. She first killed her parents, and now she's also harming their tribe. So they want to kill her. Upon hearing this, Chen Yuyan said to the guard, tell them about this disaster star and I will help them kill it. Let them go first and leave it to me to solve. The guard nodded and turned to explain Chen Yuyan's words to these barbarian women in barbaric language. They nodded and then left with their companions. Chen Yuyan squatted down and gently patted the barbarian woman on the ground, only to realize that she had fainted. There's no way, Chen Yuyan can't leave her here, it's not in line with his current character, so he can only pick her up. As a result, upon flipping it over, he almost couldn't scare himself out of last night's meal. Ugly, it's really ugly. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Sangji You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Sangji The carriage was walking in the dense forest, with wheels constantly making noises. Chen Yuyan sat cross-legged in the carriage, seemingly closing her eyes to recuperate, but in reality, she was expanding her meridians. After another week of internal energy, he opened his eyes and looked at the ugly barbarian woman lying across the desk. The characteristic anger and anger has been temporarily suppressed by Qin Yu Yen through slaughter. How many barbarian tribes Qin Yu and Yen have been slaughtered? There are probably dozens of them. Otherwise, in his previous state, he probably kicked her off the carriage when he saw such an ugly person. Watching it makes me feel annoyed. The figure of the barbarian woman appears to be only 13 or 14 years old, but her exposed skin is soft and gray, hanging on her bony limbs like rags hanging from dry branches. Especially on the face, with veins and knots, the terrifying shades of blue and purple, like a frightened water-green snake swimming rapidly in a field ditch, crossing the entire face and ravaging all facial features into a ball. From the appearance alone, it cannot even be seen that this is a person. The barbarian woman had already woken up and lay quietly on the ground, watching Chen Yuyan. What do you think I should do about you? Chen Yuyan touched his chin and muttered to himself. Are you going to kill Anu? Unlike her terrifying appearance, her voice is soft and sticky, with a hint of southern Xinjiang accent, very distinctive and unforgettable. Chen Yuyan was taken aback for a moment and said, Do you know how to speak the Central Plains Mandarin? The barbarian woman nodded and said, Anu's father is Han. Chen Yuyan remained noncommittal and asked in return. Why do you say that? The barbarian woman knew that he was referring to the previous sentence, and after a moment of silence, she hesitated and said, Because before falling into a coma, I heard you say you want to kill Anu. Chen Yuyan said lightly, that was to save you before deceiving them, otherwise they might really have to kill you before they would give up. Upon hearing this, the barbarian woman struggled with her body and knelt down to kowtow to Chen Yuyan. Her voice choked up and she said, Thank you, my lord. Chen Yuyan readily accepted, If you don't have a place to go, will you follow me in the future? He needs a guide who is familiar with the local area, preferably proficient in both the barbarian and Chinese languages. Although this barbarian woman may look a bit ugly, she happens to meet the conditions of Chen Yuyan. As for appearance, Chen Yuyan doesn't care much about it. 
More importantly, this barbarian woman is helpless and has no connections with other forces, which satisfies Qin Yuyan. Other barbarian tribes are more or less inseparable from their own tribes. Qin Yuyan doesn't want to cause unnecessary trouble. All at the mercy of Duke En. The barbarian woman's gaze was dim, and she, who had been abandoned by the tribe, had nowhere to go. Chen Yuyan nodded and casually asked, What's your name? Anu is called Anu. Chen Yuyan sighed and said, Nu, in barbaric language refers to the lowest and most lowly thing. This child is probably called this every day in the tribe, even forgetting his own name. That's not what I meant. What did your parents call you? Parents. The barbarian woman's eyes were empty, stunned and lost in thought, as if recalling past events. After a while, she finally regained her senses and said in a crisp voice. Anu's name is Sanji. The mulberry trees mulberry trees are young and tender. My dad said he hopes that Anu can grow up like a newborn mulberry leaf in the sunshine of southern Xinjiang. Chen Yuyan was sipping his tea contentedly. Upon hearing this, he was taken aback and placed his tea cup on the table. At this moment, the carriage seemed to have hit a stone on the road, causing a violent shaking. Pa pa, with a crisp sound, the teacup fell to the ground and split in half. But Chen Yuyan didn't pay attention, just quietly looked at the barbarian woman, feeling uncertain in his heart. Sangji. Silkworm girl, Sangji. The green silk is a cage system, and the osmanthus branch is a cage hook, on the head is a Japanese bun, and in the ears are bright moon pearls, Xiangqi is the lower skirt, and Ziki is the upper garment. That's Sangji. Before the update of the second expansion pack, Five Poisons Out of Barbarians, in Mysterious Jianghu, the game official updated the game CG. The first scene that appears in CG is a mulberry picking woman dancing gracefully in the mulberry forest. As graceful as a startled swan, as graceful as a wandering dragon. The silver jewelry on the head swayed and made a crisp sound, and the colorful skirt on the body was adorned with tassels. Coupled with exquisite looks and sorrowful thoughts, players couldn't bear it anymore. This is Sang Ji, who was later discovered by players as the Silkworm Girl. Silkworm Girl, Sang Ji is a Easter egg NPC that was accidentally discovered by players after the opening of Southern Xinjiang. With her added energy, she can pick up treasures wherever she goes. However, players can only watch and see. Because all the things that Sangji picked up were exclusive to her, even if players snatched them, they couldn't use them. Unfortunately, Silkworm Girl, Sangji only had contact with players for less than half a month, and her tribe was annexed due to the defeat. Sangji also died in the conflict. At that time, she had just entered the outdoor scene and had already shown extraordinary combat power, dragging four or five outdoor warriors to death with her own body. In the end, he was stabbed in the back by his own tribe members, ambushed in the body, and finally died. Chen Yuyan looked at the ugly-looking barbarian woman in front of him, unable to associate the warm and fragrant silkworm girl, Sang Ji with her. Look at Sang Ji's tattoo on the eyebrow center, and recall Sang Ji's face in the game. There is indeed the same tattoo on the eyebrow center. It's possible that the group of captured barbarian women were rescued later, and Sang Ji, who was supposed to return to the tribe, was intercepted by herself. Chen Yuyan squinted her eyes, unsure of what she was thinking. Although Sang Ji in the game doesn't have much strength, Chen Yuyan knows her potential. If Sang Ji could survive, Although it is not certain that there is a possibility of becoming a martial arts giant, achieving a master is not a problem. Sangji looked at the teacup fragments on the ground, then at Chen Yuyan who remained silent. Thinking he was angry, she instinctively bent down and used her slender fingers to pick up those sharp fragments. Chen Yuyan had just reached out his hand to stop her when he heard Sangji covering her head, huddled up, and saying something in barbaric language. Although he couldn't understand, he could feel that Sangji was very scared. If Chen Yuyan knew Mandarin, he would understand what Sangji was saying. Anu can work, don't hit him. 
A broad hand fell down and placed it on Sangji's head, soothing the frightened and frightened little beast. Chen Yuyan crouched down and comforted, It's okay, it's okay. Sangji quickly realized that she was no longer in the tribe and hurriedly knelt on the ground, constantly kowtowing to Chen Yuyan. I'm sorry, Angong. Anu made a mistake. Chen Yuyan wanted to reach out and pick up Sangji, but she dodged her. She stuttered and said, Anu is a disaster star. They all say that touching Anu's body will bring bad luck. It's better for Ngong to touch Anu less in the future. Halfway through, Sang Ji was worried about being left behind by Chen Yuyan and hastily defended herself. As long as you don't touch Anu, you won't get any ominous consequences. I'm not lying to you. The people in the tribe who haven't touched Anu are all fine and nothing is wrong. And Anu also knows how to do laundry and cooking, and can do anything. Anu can still recognize herbs. Previously, he was taken by people from the tribe to test the medicine and suffered from stomach pain for over half a month. Anu knows all kinds of herbs that are poisonous and what doesn't exist. In the future, any herbs that Ngong doesn't know can be eaten by Anu first. Sang Ji looked carefully at Chen Yuyan, with a pleading expression in her eyes, but she didn't dare to show it too clearly, fearing to annoy Chen Yuyan. Don't worry, I won't leave you behind. Chen Yuyan smiled casually, and in the latter's resistant and fearful gaze, he reached out and patted her head again. The convoy rolls forward on one wheel, one wheel at a time. At some point, the advancing convoy stopped. At this moment it was already approaching dusk, and the last rays of the setting sun had disappeared. The sky was devoid of glow, and there was still a faint dove gray dusk. The mournful dense forest began to blow a piercing cold wind. Chindashya, you have arrived at the bamboo mosquito tribe. Would you like to come down and rest for a while? After the guard finished speaking, he saw the wooden door of the carriage open, and Chen Yuyan walked out, followed by a man in a black robe with his body tightly covered. Chen Yuyan was very helpless. He didn't care about Sangji's appearance but she insisted on putting on a black robe to cover her whole body. But that's also good. When Chen Yuyan's characteristic anger erupts again, if he sees something that makes him unhappy it's uncertain what will happen. This is. The guard pointed at the black-robed man behind Chen Yuyan and hesitated to speak. Chen Yuyan smiled and said, This is the unconscious barbarian woman from before. I saw her lonely and with nowhere else to go, so I moved with compassion and took her as my maid. The guard understood and nodded to show that he understood. The bamboo mosquito tribe is not the end of this journey, it is just a temporary stop on the way to the scorpion tribe. At the same time, the bamboo mosquito tribe is also a subordinate tribe of the scorpion tribe. In the Nanjiao tribe, the five major tribes of snake, scorpion, toad, centipede, and gecko were revered, and most of the other tribes were affiliated with these five tribes. Entering the Bamboo Mosquito Tribe, the first thing that catches your eye is the towering hanging buildings. The suspended building is built entirely of bamboo, and the housing is separated from the damp ground. Below, some chickens, ducks, cows, and sheep are kept in captivity. At this time, the Bamboo Mosquito Tribe was bustling with people, jostling against each other, adding a strong sense of human habitation to the vast and tranquil dense forests of southern Xinjiang. Chen Yuyan rented a bamboo building near the outskirts of the tribe and moved in with Sang Ji. Young master, Anu will bring you water to wash your feet. As soon as she stepped onto the bamboo tower, the young woman couldn't wait to show off and showcase her value. Chen Yuyan raised her eyebrows and said, Why call yourself Anu again? Didn't I tell you that you shouldn't call yourself that way in the future? Sangji's face was shrouded in black cloth, unable to see her expression clearly. Her voice was muffled as she said, Anu forgot. Hmm. Sangji quickly changed her tone and said, I forgot. Chen Yuyan nodded in satisfaction and said, Sangji, remember that you are no longer a slave. Let bygones be bygones. You just need to look up and look forward. 
Young master, I know now. You don't need to bring me water to wash my feet anymore. I didn't save you for doing such a thing. Let's take a shower first. I haven't taken a shower for more than ten days and my body has turned sour. I have something to tell you when I come back from the shower. Sanji nodded, let out a whoosh, and then went out to wash up. The barbarians in southern Xinjiang are quite casual about washing and grooming. When taking a shower, they jump into the river wearing clothes, swim twice, and then they are considered ready to wash. Watching Sang Ji leave the bamboo tower, Chen Yuyan pondered what to do next. Firstly, we need to promote Sang Ji to Gu sequence. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Nanua Tombs You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Nanua Tombs Although the silkworm girl, Sang Ji has rarely had contact with players, the versatile players have put in a lot of effort to learn about Sang Ji. How did you get to know it? The players teamed up and used Sang Ji as their boss. When everyone was still new to the game, with the strength of the outdoor scenes of Silkworm Girl, Sang Ji, she could indeed be called a little boss. There's nothing else interesting, I just want to see if I can explode the martial arts and props on her body. I have understood the information, but it is all about combat. Sang Ji is a martial artist in the Gu sequence, which is certain. Her Gu mother is called the Life and Death Silkworm, and she is the highest level of Silkworm Gu insects in southern Xinjiang. Later, players suspected that Sanji's death was closely related to this life and death silkworm. Pifu is innocent and harbors a guilty conscience. And she practiced the Five Poisons Manual and minored in the Eternal Life and Death Chaos Henlu, but the latter was only a fragment. Chen Yuyan speculated that these techniques were all obtained by Sanji through a chance encounter later on. After all, her tribe is not strong, and the grades of these martial arts are not low. Gu Sequence Initial Pollution Characteristic, Gu Mu Shares the same life as Gu Bu, has strong vitality, increases healing ability, increases detoxification ability, and increases affinity for Gu Bu. Characteristic, Widowed and Widowed Coexisting with Gu insects, half human and half Gu, losing the ability to reproduce offspring. Promotion Criteria Beginner level of acquired Gu technique plus taking the secret medicine, human Gu. Promotion Ceremony Find a suitable Gu mother, open her heart, and provide her with the blood of her heart. Everything else is easy to manage, but the most important thing in southern Xinjiang is Gu Bu, which can be exchanged for a lot with a little money. The secret medicine, human Gu, is also made of various Gu Bu, combined with bone powder ground from human bones. The only difficulty is how to obtain the acquired witchcraft. Each tribe in southern Xinjiang is a treasure trove, and each type of witchcraft is the lifeblood of the tribe. Not to mention lending it to outsiders to watch, even members of their own family who want to learn it must obtain the approval of the clan leader and the clan witch. Let's talk about it, first ask Sang Ji if she is willing to choose Gu Sequence. Although the silkworm girl, Sang Ji in the game did indeed choose the Gu sequence, after all, it has become a real world, and Sang Ji is also a living person. Chen Yuyan should respect her choice. After all, the characteristic of being widowed and widowed is somewhat unique. Turning silkworm girl, Sang Ji over was an unexpected joy, but Chen Yuyan will not forget the main purpose of this trip to southern Xinjiang. Mengyun Valley Nanyue Tomb. The Mengyun Valley, where the Scorpion Tribe is located, was the capital of South Vietnam thousands of years ago. Even the Scorpion Tribe could not have imagined that the underground of their lair was buried with the treasures of the South Vietnamese Empire. The tomb even contained the Hunyuan cultivation technique and three or four Hunyuan divine weapons, which later alarmed the largest religion in southern Xinjiang. The Baiyue Sect. However, these were all after the excavation of the four or five layers of the tomb. Initially, when the South Vietnamese tomb was unearthed, only the first layer of the tomb was revealed, and most of the burial objects were ordinary bronze ware and other objects. There are also some postnatal pills and weapons, 
all of which are worthless things. The Scorpion tribe only sent people to take a rough look and thought it was an ordinary tomb before leaving, but they didn't pay much attention. The result was picked up and missed by someone. The future Northern Spear King, Fong Ziming, is the abandoned son of his family and the favored child of fate. He brought several companions he had met in the Central Plains to experience in southern Xinjiang, but accidentally broke into the tomb of the King of South Vietnam and opened the second layer of the tomb, gaining an adventure and greatly enhancing his strength. Later, this matter was leaked by accompanying companions, and their group was subsequently pursued by the Scorpion tribe. Chasing and fleeing for thousands of miles, the Scorpion tribe found that they couldn't catch up with these thieves and angrily returned to their original path. As a result, the Scorpion tribe came back and saw that the tomb of the King of South Vietnam had been occupied by the worship of the moon. As the only hegemon in southern Xinjiang, the worship of the moon, one of the three religions in the world, naturally does not take these barbarians seriously. After learning about this, the deputy leader of the Moon Worship sect even forcibly demanded that the Scorpion tribe move their ancestral land. Meng Yunggu and his Moon Worship sect took it. The Scorpion tribe is very angry, but do they have a way? There is no way. I can only move my tribe overnight in a gloomy manner, but in my heart, I hate these unreasonable Han people. The treasures on the first two floors of the tomb were looted by Fang Ziming and his team, known as the Cold Moon Spear. The third floor of the tomb was directly occupied by the Worshipping Moon sect, and their ancestral land was also lost. Their only comfort was getting a mask during the search of the second floor tomb. This mask is called the Nuaxing Mask, and is the crystallization of the faith of the people of the Nuaxing dynasty, which was further advanced from the South Vietnamese dynasty. As long as the person wearing the Nuaxing mask holds the original sequence, they can also hold another sequence. Double sequences are definitely not as simple as 1 plus 1 equals 2. In Chen Yuyan's view, this mask is the most valuable treasure in the entire Nanua tomb. The Scorpion tribe later rose again due to this mask. Unfortunately, Chen Yuyan also wants this mask. With this mask, he can not only completely eliminate the negative impact of the blade sequence, but also possess far greater strength than before. This is the most crucial part of Chen Yuyan's plan and the most important springboard. If he doesn't get the Nuoxing mask, he really can only do good things every day, and then after deeply polluting the sequence, he chooses the characteristic of jealousy of evil. Although the trait of being jealous of evil has no negative impact. After choosing the characteristic of being jealous of evil, Chen Yuyan really becomes too weak. This is the biggest negative impact. The Nuoxing mask is a must-have for Chen Yu and Yen. As for the Scorpion tribe, they even lost the entire South Vietnamese tomb, and this mask is not lacking. Young master, I have washed it. Sang Ji, who was wet all over, walked into the bamboo tower. Her black robe was tightly pressed against her skin, looking as thin as a bamboo pole. Chen Yuyan was afraid that a gust of wind would blow her away. Go inside and change your wet clothes, don't catch a cold. Chen Yuyan sighed, feeling like she's raising a daughter. Indeed, the current Sangji is just a little girl in her early teens. Sangji nodded obediently and then reached out her hand to hand Chen Yuyan a bamboo tube. This is something I floated down from upstream while taking a shower, but it's all written in Central Plain script. Young master, take a look at what's written inside. I can only speak Central Plains Mandarin and cannot write. My dad passed away before he could teach me. Chen Yuyan nodded and took the bamboo tube handed over by Sangji. He opened it and saw two yellow papers inside. Take it out and take a look at the Five Poisons Manual, Chen Yuyan. He rubbed his eyes and found that the top four words were really the Five Poisons Manual. If Chen Yuyan found it himself, he would definitely believe that it is a fake Five Poisons Manual. The Five Poisons Manual is second only to the Eight Nine Xian Gong of Longhu Mountain and the Lingyin Temple's Great Dream Zen Sutra, which is a superior innate first dot class martial art. Can you pick it up after taking a shower? 
But the person who found the Five Poisons Manual is Sang Ji, so Chen Yuyan is not surprised. He has watched the plot and knows how incredible the fortune of Silkworm Girl, Sang Ji is. Chen Yuyan finally knows where Sang Ji's Five Poisons Manual comes from now. I picked it up while taking a shower. He estimated that if Sangji returned to the Qingchan tribe, this bamboo tube might be able to bend and float into the river near the Qingchan tribe. Taking out all the yellow paper, Chen Yuyan carefully studied it several times before realizing that it was not the complete Five Poisons Manual. Just the Snake Sutra section. The Five Poisons Manual can only be considered as an innate grade A skill if the Five Poisonous Scriptures, namely the Snake Classic, Scorpion Classic, Toad Classic, Centipede Classic, and Gecko Classic, are combined into one. Taking out a single Poison Classic is only a second-level Gu technique. Damn it, I've been racking my brains to find an acquired Gu technique for Sangji. It seems that you don't have to worry about her in the future. The martial arts will be delivered to your door by yourself. However, this is just a joke from Chen Yuyan. It's already outrageous enough for such a thing to happen once. How could there be a second time? Chen Yuyan suddenly fell silent. Sang Ji later practiced the complete five poisons manual, so wouldn't the remaining four poison scriptures be obtained by her like this? After changing clothes, Sang Ji came out with a veil covering her face. Do you want to be a witch? Chen Yuyan suddenly asked. Gu Wu is the group of people in the Nanjiao tribe who hold the Gu sequence and hold a high position in southern Xinjiang. Sangji was stunned for a moment, pointed at herself, and asked incredulously. Are you talking about me, young master? Chen Yuyan nodded. How could it be? How could someone like me become a witchcraft? Sangji shook her head and didn't take it to heart. If it's really possible, would you be willing to? Of course I do. Sang Ji picked up a wooden tray containing snacks from the table and placed it next to Chen Yuyan. Becoming a Gu Wu is my childhood dream. If I could be so powerful. Dad won't die, and Mom won't leave me behind and run away. The last sentence was spoken very quietly by Sang Ji. If it weren't for Chen Yuyan's full attention, he wouldn't have heard it clearly. He then said. Becoming a witchcraft means you can't have children. Sanji shook her head, touched her face, and suddenly said. Being a good person is very difficult, why bother giving birth to children and letting them suffer in the future? Especially like me, it's not easy to live on my own. In the future, I will focus on serving the young master and taking good care of him. It's better not to worry about hunger every day, and I will be very happy. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. Tomb Emergence. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 9 Tomb Emergence, People Live for Themselves, and I'm not a playboy to the point of eating, drinking, and having a little girl to support me. Chen Yuyan patted Sangji's head, but he could feel that Sangji didn't care about the cost of losing fertility. Perhaps this is the difference in mindset. He lives in a prosperous and healthy modern society, and his daily thoughts are only about trivial matters such as earning money to support his family, getting married, and having children, which are the top priorities. And Sangji lives in the backward dense forests of southern Xinjiang, and her only thought is to live until tomorrow. Chen Yuyan sighed inwardly, since that's the case, let's just follow the development of the plot. He did not directly throw the Five Poisons Manual to Sangji, but instead asked her to learn calligraphy first. If you can't even understand the martial arts, let alone practice. Chen Yuyan also gave her some silver and asked her to buy some food to take advantage of this time to replenish her body. If the physique is too weak, there is a great risk in the promotion ceremony. Half a month later, in Mengyun Valley. The convoy has been away from the Bamboo Mosquito Tribe for several days, and finally arrived at the Scorpion tribe before sunset today. It sounds somewhat ironic that in the vast southern region, barbarians make up 90% of the population, but in the rivers and lakes of southern Xinjiang, Han people hold the ears of oxen. For example, 
the Southern Xinjiang Catholic Church worships the moon and doesn't even have a barbarian. And the remaining few first dot class sections. Jiansang sect, Baiyi sect, and Jiaha temple are mostly Han Chinese. Even the most powerful five poisons tribe in the Nanjiao tribe can only barely rank as a second or third tier force in the rivers and lakes of southern Xinjiang. Among them, the Scorpion tribe is the weakest among the five poisons tribe. Among the tribes, only an old clan leader has a perfect cultivation in the external environment, but he is also very old. And further down, even the warriors in the external scenery of the Scorpion tribe are only a few hands. If it weren't for this, it wouldn't have benefited Fong Ziming, a newcomer in the martial arts world, under his own nose, and he could only watch them escape. Before the Southern Ming Dynasty, Southern Xinjiang was a stronghold of barbarians. The decline of the Five Poison tribe is due to hundreds of years ago, when the barbarians attempted to establish a dynasty and searched for the dragon veins in the depths of 100,000 mountains, but none of the barbarians who left did not return. At that time, the sky of the entire barbarian tribe collapsed, leaving only a few elderly, weak, sick, and disabled, and could only watch as the southern Xinjiang was gradually eroded by the Han people. Without inheritance, without resources. They also have to be suppressed by the Han people. The major tribes of the barbarians continued to weaken like this. Chen Yuyan knew that this situation would soon change, and when the Gu Zhu Demuta returned with his dragon veins and the remaining barbarian clan masters, it would be the time for the southern region to once again stir up a bloody storm. At the same time, it also foreshadows the beginning of the expansion pack, Five Poisons Bloom. However, at this time, the Five Poison tribes are still weak chickens, the kind that anyone can step on. After finding a remote courtyard to live in, Chen Yuyan directly threw Sangji into the room and assigned her to copy a thousand-word essay three times in the latter's melancholic eyes before leaving gracefully. Sangji sat at the desk, looking at the dense text, her head bulging three times, and she couldn't help but let out a mournful sigh. Brother Fong, I'm so hungry. Zhou Suwan squatted on the street, eagerly looking at the steaming oven in the opposite shop, and instinctively swallowed saliva. Oh, I'm hungry too. Fan Ziming stood on the side, leaning against the doorpost, wiping the tip of the wrought iron spear. The woman sitting next to Zhou Suhuan complained. It's not because you're free to save some little girl. It's all right now, we've all stolen our silver. We're going to sleep on the street tonight. She reached out her finger in hatred and tapped Zhou Suhuan's forehead, can you grow some brains in the future? Zhou Suhuan was no longer willing and defended, Anshi, don't you also hold her every day and say she's cute? Why do you still call me? But she was saved by you. Don't you also have no objection? Zhou Suhuan, you. Tired of listening, Fang Ziming reluctantly advised. Keep it down, many people are watching. Seeing many people on the street staring at them, Zhou Suhuan and Anshi both felt a bit embarrassed and obediently closed their mouths. When will brother Hong Yuan and sister Ming be back? Zhou Suhuan covered her stomach and suddenly her eyes lit up. She jumped up from the ground and shouted. People are coming, people are coming. Upon hearing this, Anshi quickly stood up and kept looking around. He also saw Song Ming and Fu Hong Yuan, and excitedly waved at them. Miss Ming, here. Song Ming also saw Fang Ziming and the three of them. He ran over and distributed the food in his arms. Are you all starving? Hurry up and eat while it's hot. Zhou Suhuan gulped down on the food and said tearfully, Thank you, Sister Ming. The jade pendant you mortgaged out will definitely be redeemed for you when I go back. Song Ming rolled his hair behind his ears and said shyly, my jade pendant is still there. That tavern only recognizes silver and doesn't accept my jade pendant. Ah! How did you get these foods? Fang Ziming Nahun Road. Song Ming turned around and looked at the two men walking behind him. Thank you very much, Brother Chen. He helped us with this big favor, he said Chen Yuyan walked out from behind Fu Hongyuan and smiled at the crowd. 
In Xiachen, Yu Yan, from Pingnan Prefecture in southern Yunnan, nicknamed Jinghong Knife. After dinner, Chen Yu Yan took them back to the courtyard he rented. A few people gave each other a brief introduction. Among Fang Ziming's group of five, Song Ming and Fu Hong Yuan were both from the Central Plains. The former escaped from marriage, while the latter was a legitimate disciple of the third rate sect, the Tiger Roar Martial Arts School, who went out for training. Zhou Suhuan and Anxi are teachers and sisters. Both of them are second dot generation disciples of the Sun sect, the second dot class sect in southern Xinjiang. They sneaked out to play. They met Fang Ziming and others on the road and decided to train with them. And Fang Ziming came from the Hushi family, one of the thirteen aristocratic families of Northern Wei, but only a collateral branch. The Fang family has tens of thousands of members, but their status as collateral members is not very prestigious. Coincidentally, these five people are all experiencing the martial arts world for the first time. Fang Ziming had a calm personality, but he got along well with Chen Yuyan. The two quickly became brothers and considered each other friends. Among the remaining four, the two of them are plain girls with outgoing personalities. Song Ming is a lady from a wealthy family, with relatively dignified behavior but also possessing martial arts skills. The remaining Fu Hongyuan is not very talkative. They rushed from the central plains to southern Xinjiang, enduring hardships all the way, suppressing mountain bandits, and also being suppressed by mountain bandits, encountered an adventure, but didn't catch anything, I saved someone when I saw them on the road, but the person who was rescued was tricked into leaving no underwear. In the end, he persisted in camping all the way, relying on drinking stream water and eating wild fruits to make it to Menyun Valley. Woo woo, I trusted that little sister so much that she stole all my silver. Zhou Suhuan drank heavily, tears streaming down her face as she wept to Chen Yuyan about her tragic experiences during this period. The martial arts world is like this. You are all experiencing it for the first time and without much experience, it is inevitable that you will suffer some hardships. Chen Yuyan comforted and then added a sentence in his heart. And you will be transferring soon. Among the five people, Chen Yuyan was the one who paid the most attention to and wanted to make friends with Fang Ziming the most. The Su Nu Pai and the other two were both brainless second-rate people, while the remaining two were deeply thoughtful and not good people. In order to get in touch with the young leader of the Dianzang sect, Song Ming secretly conveyed the discovery of the second floor of the tomb by Fang Ziming and others to the disciples of the Dianzang sect. As a result, the Dianzang sect sold Song Ming as soon as they met, and even said that she was the most poisonous woman in people's hearts, mocking people like her for wanting to approach their young master. Fu Hongyuan is even more patient. On the surface, he is a legitimate disciple of the Tiger Roar Martial Arts School, but in reality, he is just a homeless dog who has stolen the martial arts school's techniques and fled. It wasn't until Fang Ziming escaped from the pursuit of the Scorpion tribe that he revealed his fangs, attempting to infiltrate the inheritance they had obtained. Even though Fang Ziming was not lenient towards him, he gave him the only innate second dot class weapon he had obtained from the tomb, the Heart Remembering Mirror. Fu Hongyuan's final outcome was also replaced by Fang Ziming, who risked half his life. You can stay here for now. After a tiring journey, take a good rest. After settling down Fang Ziming and others, Chen Yuyan went to check Sangji's homework first, and then changed the thousand character essay to a hundred surnames, asking her to copy it three more times. Returning to her own room, Chen Yuyan sat cross-legged on the bed. He hasn't been idle for the past half month. First, he has mastered ten of the twelve orthodox scriptures, and then searched for two powerful techniques according to the game guide. Firstly, I found the congenital third-class pupil method, Zhao Luan Yen, in the cave below the Chuanyin cliff, later, he went to the ancient site of Jiaha Temple and learned one of the 70.2 unique skills of Shaolin, the great slaying monument hand, behind the stone Buddha left behind. These two techniques, one is the auxiliary pupil technique and the other is the melee technique, both of which are very suitable for Chen Yuyan's current situation. Especially in Zhao Wan Yen, 
it not only has miraculous effects on mental illusions, but also clarifies the subtle movements of enemies in battles, thereby making predictions in advance. More importantly, Zhao Wan Yan has the ability to control the mind, which can to some extent suppress Qin Yuyan's anger and maintain rationality. Qin Yuyan, the main ingredient of Qingming pill, has already purchased many along the way, but he is struggling to find a suitable alchemist and can only pile them up and watch. However, he is not in a hurry either. Currently, there is still Zhao Wan Yan that can support it for a period of time, and the demand for Qingming Dan is not so great. The next day, Zhou Suhuan lazily walked out of the room and saw Chen Yuyan standing in the yard practicing swordsmanship. Brother Chen, you are really diligent. Zhou Suhuan said in admiration. Chen Yuyan shook his head and pointed to Fang Ziming in the corner of the courtyard, saying, Brother Fang didn't wake up later than me. Zhou Suhuan chuckled and said, You two are quite diligent, unlike someone who is still sleeping in. I heard crows chirping early in the morning, and upon coming out, it was true that someone was speaking ill of me. Anshi walked out of the room and glared hard at Zhou Suhuan, but the two of them started fighting again. Brother Chen, what are your plans next? We are coming from the central plains to southern Xinjiang this time, and we are preparing to experience it here. Song Ming walked out slowly and asked softly. Chen Yuyan glanced at her and understood that this woman's need for experience was fake. She was in a hurry to find a new home, which was real. It is also false to say that he escaped from marriage. The truth is that the man who stole from the wild was discovered by his husband's family and had to escape from there. Chen Yuyan withdrew his long sword and said loudly. I am also here to experience in southern Xinjiang. Recently, I heard that ancient tombs have been born in Menyun Valley. I am planning to join the fun and see what I can gain. Ancient Tombs Fang Ziming, who was still practicing his gun on the side, heard what Chen Yuyan had said and approached with great interest, saying to the others. Why don't we go take a look too? Everyone else nodded, they came out to practice, and seeing and experiencing more is a good thing. Chen Yuyan smiled and said, Okay, once we pack up our things, we'll go to the tomb together tomorrow and take a look. Looking up at the sun in the sky, Chen Yuyan secretly thought to himself that the people of the Scorpion tribe should have already retreated by now. However, there are still many disciples from scattered cultivators and second and third rate sects in the tomb, and there will inevitably be some fierce competition. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Prior to the event. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10 Prior to the event within the Scorpion tribe, a close attendant is reporting the details of the tomb to the clan leader Malenko. They are all ordinary objects. As the local snake of Mengyun Valley, the Scorpion tribe immediately sent people to explore after receiving news of the emergence of the South Vietnamese tomb. Before other forces in southern Xinjiang arrived, they had already figured out the details inside. Then let's lift the blockade. It's not worth offending so many forces for some postnatal pills and weapons. Malenko sighed and said wearily. The opportunity at her doorstep had to be opened up for exploration by other sects, which made Malenko feel extremely frustrated. So what's the solution? That group of Han people are already in cahoots and don't treat them well. If they offend these sects again, the Scorpion tribe may suffer. We can't let them take things for nothing, let Yuanar take the best members of the clan to the tomb. If they can grab some, they will kill them if they encounter Han people who are not good at it. If you encounter disciples from the great sect of the Great Gate, everyone should hold their tails and be a good person. Don't offend them. The attendant stepped down and conveyed Mulan Ka's words to the young clan leader Mulan Yuan. At this time, not only the Scorpion tribe is preparing to send people to the southern Yu tomb, because the tomb's birth has caused a lot of noise. The nearby sects around Mengyun Valley have received news, and almost all of them have sent their disciples to Mengyun Valley. After Chen Yuyan and his companions packed up, they also set off for Mengyun Valley. Before arriving at the tomb, Fang Ziming couldn't help but marvel at the size of the tomb, 
which covered half of the mountain. Chen Yuyan couldn't help but shake his head. How could such a tomb scale only have postnatal level burial objects? Can ordinary people build tombs on such a large scale? It can only be said that the main officials of the Scorpion tribe are not very intelligent, or it may be because they have not seen it with their own eyes and cannot feel the majesty of the tomb, after all, there is still a big difference between listening to someone describe and seeing it with their own eyes. This tomb is home to half of the last imperial family of South Vietnam, leaving behind countless good things, but most of them are buried in tombs below three floors. With Chen Yuyan's current strength, he doesn't even have the qualification to imagine. Fortunately, Chen Yuyan was not greedy to that extent, and he knew it was not realistic at all. However, the Nuashing mask in the second floor tomb was something he was determined to win. Just as Chen Yuyan and others were patiently waiting, a loud noise suddenly came from the foot of the mountain. Looking in the direction of the sound, the two of them rose up into the air, constantly fighting each other, their long swords clashing, and for a moment they were evenly matched. Both of them were still following a group of warriors behind them, both sides casually staring at each other, confronting each other and drawing swords and crossbows. It's Yang Wufeng, the young leader of the Jiansang sect, and Wei Meng, the senior brother of the Song Yuan sword sect. Zhou Suhuan tilted her head and whispered to the crowd. She was originally from the martial arts world of southern Xinjiang, so she naturally knows this very well. Jiansang sect and Song Yuan sword sect are both well.known first.class sects in the martial arts world of southern Xinjiang. Upon hearing the three words Yang Wufeng, Chen Yuyan squinted her eyes slightly. If anyone caused the greatest trouble to Fang Ziming during this trip to southern Xinjiang, it was undoubtedly Yang Wufeng, who was known as the Return Wind Dancing Willow. The Jiansang sect is famous for its martial arts skills, and Yang Wufeng is the contemporary disciple of the Jiansang sect who excels in practicing fist and palm techniques. However, in the year of the weak crown, An Wufeng has already achieved a perfect interior, completing the deep pollution of the fist sequence and entering the outdoor scene. His mastery of the secret technique, flying flower palm and chaotic flower fist, has become so profound that he has even evolved his own fist intent that it is difficult to find opponents in the martial arts world of southern Xinjiang. Refining the artistic conception of martial arts is the standard line for testing one's talent for practicing martial arts. Practicing a martial arts skill can generally be divided into four levels. Beginners, junior, junior, Major mastering the artistic conception also means that one has already cultivated martial arts to a subtle level. Among the three martial arts currently mastered by Qin Yuyan, the Wuwang Blade is close to Xiaocheng, and the newly acquired Zhao Wanjian and De Shuibiishu have only just begun to learn. In the game plot, after Song Ming reported the news of the second floor tomb to the Jiansang sect, Yang Wufeng was the first to come knocking on his door. One person punched Fang Ziming with both fists, but in the end, Fang Ziming was able to escape from Xing Tian with the obstruction of Wei Meng, the long pine sword. However, this is also bullying Fang Ziming, who is two years younger than him and has less time to practice martial arts. Otherwise, it's hard to say who will win or lose. When fighting with Yang Wufeng, Fang Ziming's cultivation in the inner and outer realms was only inferior to his entire realm. As for the remaining few people, Song Ming defected directly. Fu Hongyuan was hiding and rowing the water, while the remaining Zhou Suhuan and Anxi worked hard, but could not even intervene in their battle. There's no way, these two are real dishes. However, it was also because of this life and death struggle that Fang Ziming broke through three extraordinary scriptures in a row at the limit, with the normal and extraordinary meridians connected and the interior scene completed perfectly. As long as the deep pollution of the gun sequence is completed, it can be further improved at any time, breaking through the external scenery can also be considered a blessing in disguise. Retrieving his gaze, Chen Yuyan no longer paid attention to the battle between Yang Wei and the two, patiently waiting for the opening of the tomb. Although the southern Vietnamese tombs have already been born, the formation for suppressing them has not completely collapsed. The tombs will not be opened until after sunset when the first ray of sunset sets. 
As time passed, the number of people around the tomb gradually increased. The confrontation between Yang Wufeng and Wei Meng on the other end also ended immediately, after all, the tomb was right in front of us, and we couldn't exhaust our energy before we had gained anything. The situation stabilized for a while and fell into a fragile balance. At this time, on the mountain, the most convenient burial site was the disciples of the major sects led by Yang Wufeng and Wei Meng. A few people like Qin Yuyan can only stand behind like most casual cultivators. In fact, with Qin Yuyan's current strength and Fang Ziming's side, he can definitely seize a good position. But there's nothing good about the first layer, and Qin Yuyan doesn't want to be I. catching so early. Just follow behind the crowd. The sky gradually darkened, and the dusk was vast. A group of returning crows croaked and flew over their heads. A hazy light rose from the ground, and everyone felt a trembling sensation, as if the earth was about to crack open. However, this shock came and went quickly, and quickly dissipated without a trace. The central door of the tomb opens, and the pitch black entrance sits on the mountainside. It is pitch black and the bottom is unclear, like a glutton opening its huge mouth, waiting for food to fall into its own trap. Almost at the moment when the tomb gate opened, everyone who was close to the tomb rushed in. Everyone wants to have their first bite of meat and doesn't want to drink soup behind them. Chen Yuyan did not charge at the front, but followed behind the large army, neither in a hurry nor in a hurry. Fang Ziming and his companions were not in a hurry either. They were originally just planning to broaden their horizons and did not have such an urgent mood. Everyone walked down the stone staircase behind the tomb gate, which surprisingly led straight to the bottom of the mountain, almost emptying the entire interior of the mountain, supported only by twelve giant stone pillars. After arriving underground, most of the people who had previously opened the way had already dispersed, with empty graves and coffins hanging in mid-air, making people shudder. It's so gloomy here. Zhou Suhuan tightened her tight-fitting clothes, looked around, and even her voice became quieter. Follow closely, it's best not to separate. Fang Ziming was holding a long iron spear, with sharp eyes and a wary expression. End of this chapter